Welcome back, guys. This is Arnaldo, a.k.a. Mad Dog, and this is The Real, episode 202 Woo! of GG's The Mouthful Podcast. Oh, GG! <laughs> oh, my God. That sounded terrible. Yeah. Hold on. What Ow. was that about? Get a little bass in there. GG! All, right, all, right, all right, we got to bring it back a little bit. Drop the bass, a little more treble, a little more uh, from the back. Okay, all right. So uh, this, is, uh, this is my take. Ready? GG! There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That voice, of course, is Mr. David Santos, a.k.a. Dream Twister. How's it going, guys? Nice. I've been doing good. And our third chair remains empty at the moment. Mr. Chaos Reaper uh, is not joining us this week, uh, but it's okay. As we said, he will be back. I Someday. guarantee it. He's going to have to, after the third miss, he, he's going to start to uh, reapply again. <laughs> You know. <laughs> the re- submission process. Yeah. Yes, yeah. We're gonna have to take measures because, of course, I mean, you know, I agree. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's is. not showing up. Yeah, you know. I tell apparently, you. he's buying, putting priorities like real work. I know. You know where and he his paid. wife. What the hell is and that about? Wife. Exactly. I mean, God. It's like. Dude, you, you, what is happening with missing the GG? I tell you. The podcast, <laughs> podcast day. Him, him and I were joking the other day. We were on the phone. Uh, and at some point, we we're like, uh, I don't know, we bring up the missus or something like that. And he's like, You're right? Man, why didn't nobody tell us this when we got married? I'm like, Right? <laughs> God, it's such, such misinformation. They tell you. <laughs> I tell you, speak now or whatever. <laughs> hold your feet. I always thought they were talking to the crowd. Not They're talking me. to the crowd. They're talking oh. to you know any bros out there that will dare to say something because <laughs> I mean this is about to go down. All right, <laughs> he already so, did. Another fun story time, guys. All right, <laughs> and this is this is a this is a this is a moment of my life that I am not proud of guys uh, i'm not proud of this uh, i take you rachel <laughs> <laughs> i take the rachel uh no uh uh what was her name <laughs> monica geller i no, mean the no. other one the uh, oh uh, em- em- emily emily yeah, yeah. we're calling friends we're talking right? friends yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah, friends. about friends that that's uh, true. yeah for those. no but uh true story so uh, a friend of mine a good friend of mine that uh, uh that I haven't spoken to in a while unfortunately but uh we, we were it was still living in the bronx and a f- our mutual friend invited us we hadn't seen him in forever and invited us out of the blue hey man come down to long island this is my address i'm getting married you know love for you guys to be there nice and so we like okay we'll do this right and we go out and i think we we stay the night over we go out on saturday and they get married on sunday and when we get there, right, immediately it is evident that he hates this woman. <laughs> you know? And she's not very happy with him either. <laughs> you know, and we're like, what the hell? You know, oh what I mean? there's God. a lot of name calling. There's a lot of throwing stuff. And I'm like, wow. aren't you guys getting married like tomorrow? <laughs> you know? So needless to say, the <laughs> wedding comes along, uh-huh. you know, and we're in. We're in the in the pews, you yeah. know what I mean, just kind of listening. And then, of course, here comes the the, the part where you know, does is, is anybody feel that this marriage should not happen? Uh, speak now, forever you hold your peace. And, and <laughs> you guys are have, pushing we, each other. We, to we, talk. we we didn't say anything. We're like, <coughs> but <coughs> let me tell you, we walked out of there <laughs> later on, like. Damn, yeah, man, we really should have said something. We just sent him to the slaughter. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he's going to be... Dude. I, he has to... I have no idea. I have, I have not... Honestly, that was literally the last time I saw uh-huh. my friend, uh-huh. uh, Reggie. He lives. He lived out in, uh, in on Long well, Island. Well, there you go. Look at that. The, Look what happened. Yeah. We don't know anything about <laughs> poor Reggie. We... <laughs> <laughs> this is true. We have no clue uh, of how that happened, sir. If you are listening now, uh, and and you you just heard me reveal that I knew, and you actually had a horrible life since. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have said. If something. you're under duress at this time, yes. please comment down below. Put put keyword. <laughs> yeah. I want to play Skyrim, <laughs> and uh, we'll come to your rescue. Yes, we'll know. Yes. Oh. That's Reggie. No, that's we gotta Reg- go. Rescue. That's Reggie. Yeah. Yes. 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 So uh, I feel bad about that. Yeah. I, I, it's one of those one of those moments in life where I'm like, God, what was that? Why did I say? I, but then again, you don't want to be the one, right? Because you just met them. I, they I just had a bad night. I, for all we know, you know, could have used uh, the the I could have used the one uh, you know 
tu, no, how to say, 2015 years ago, let's say more or less, uh, you know, story time, uh, guys. <laughs> oh, man. So, this is a new segment. Guys. About 15 <laughs> years, story time. <laughs> yeah, not the new. Uh, so, 15 uh, years ago, I was actually, I actually got married. Uh, you know, I, I married a, a, a very good friend, actually. You know, uh, she was, uh, she was a very good friend. It's the problem. <laughs> he was a very good <laughs> that friend. That was all it was. It should have stayed <laughs> as a, a friend. And oh. I think it was, I want to say, something happened. It was out of a, like, I fucked up with something. I don't know what it was, but it was a fight that we had. And to, to make it, to try to make it a bad, to make a man, I ended up like proposing oh or God. something like that. It was, dude, oh I have no, God. I have no, keep in mind, I have no ring or, or, or anything. You know, I just, I think I grabbed one of the, a, a twisty <laughs> and I just put like symbolically before I actually ended up buying her the ring. But it was, it, it was something stupid because I know like, I've been living with this uh, with uh, uh, with this girl for uh, the better part of three or four years. Oh, uh, we're already okay. living together, yeah, and, yeah. and like I said, she you know uh, she was really uh, you know really nice and, and and all. So it was never like my divorce was super easy. Hmm. There was no drama on it. You know, you know the like. <laughs> we could have stayed. We could have end up uh, 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 stay best of best friends, friends afterwards. If it wasn't for the oh. fact that I already have fucked up her life so much <laughs> that I wasn't gonna do that. Like the best thing that I could do for her was disappear she completely disappear. for her, gotcha. you know, from 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 her life. So uh, I remember that day of you know when the the the, the day was getting closer to you know the the wedding the wedding, and I just. And this is horrible. I'm a horrible guy. Guys, if you guys don't know, I'm a terrible person. I <laughs> shouldn't be b- b- wasting the oxygen <laughs> of this world. Uh, but I have changed <laughs> for the better. But uh, anyway, I was I, like, I was, I was dreading that the, you know the day was coming. I, could, I, I like to describe it was, it was a freight train that was coming at full speed to hit me, and I could not do anything about it. You just could stand there to and the watch, point where you? I look for any excuse to. To, to cancel this, oh, wow! So okay. wow, okay. and it just it it, it, it didn't never happen. Canceled, yeah. no. So you needed someone in the audience. I needed go. someone to yell, like, <laughs> "Dude, what are you doing?" You know, she's. I, I am speaking. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, this is this is the woman that, by the way, he um, we were both gamers. Mm. We both have you know the, the console. We all both had Xboxes. We will host uh, gaming gaming nights, you know, in the in the house, and people will think, oh. Guys are into the same you know, thing. You guys are made for each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't really work that way, you know. It's usually the opposite. Yeah, it's usually, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's, it's usually the opposite. But like I said, it was it was no drama. And at the end, and, that, and she remarried. And she has a kid. She's super happy. And mm-hmm. I don't even want to <laughs> like think of just how stupid I was. Because I was I was dumb. I was young, and dumb. <laughs> and when you think about it, I said it was fifteen, you know, or twenty years ago. I was not that young, so I was just stupid. The I mean, you're still youngish. You know, yeah, <laughs> you were sure, you yeah. weren't like eighteen or anything. No, but you no, were still no. young. Yeah. yeah, I was in my twenties. There you go. There yeah, you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, what we normally do. Uh, guys, well, no, first off, is we pour our hearts yeah, out. We, uh, evidently, <laughs> we, we have a moment to confession talk about, moment. We have yes. a moment to talk about the tragedies of our life, the tragedies <laughs> that are our lives. <laughs> the, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Seriously, guys, uh, if it's your first time uh, tuning in, please go to goodgame.rocks. Join the conversation there. And, of course, please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. Uh, I, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> like I said, what we normally do uh, when we're not reminiscing on uh, past <laughs> mistakes uh, is we go into what we have been up to, move on into some various news items, and then finish with our Hot Topic of the Week. This, this week's week, Hot, hot topic, topic, Video Game movies who needs them <laughs> oh, right wow i know i know i know yeah i know i don't know i know i don't know <laughs> i i, I, I kind of know i, I kind of I mean, do do you guys know if i'm a if i was a betting man uh-huh. you know and i would go with the you know with the odds and the, the odds, odds are yeah. not in favor of video uh-huh. game movies guys for the record hey uh so i can talk about uh you know some some shows that i am very proud to see made 
The, uh, see, and well, I will, shows are different. I will toss a coin to them. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> shows are different. We can definitely, we'll get a little bit more into that, but shows are a little bit different than film. Um, the main thing, obviously, you're going to have way more time to tell the story as opposed to just two hours. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we'll go into a little more detail yeah. uh, of that a little later on in the show. Uh, but let's start with what we have been up to. Mr. Santos, Tur. what has been going on? Well, speaking of movies, oh, I think I'm going to start with that because I, that, that's what I've been doing the most. Uh, okay. I only play one game this, uh, this, this week, this entire week. Yes, and I joined you. What? Ah! Spoilers. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Oh. <laughs> so, sir, sir, you have different tastes. In movie. You have a wide array of... Uh, a, a wide range, I should say, of of movie that you like. Yes, you know, and, and uh, you 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 can you can you you are I consider you a movie connoisseur. Uh, okay. Connoisseur. Okay, I still I, I think I'm lacking a little bit because I know uh, some. You some might have some who, holes here and there, yeah, but yeah. And, and and sure, you know, there's you know, but but you're my closest source to like the movies that, okay gotcha you know and uh the other day i heard you talk about uh this movie that you watch called the parasite oh, oh yes yeah and so it just, just just parasite but yes just parasite <laughs> yeah 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 just parasite i just happened to throw it there on the on the on, on the vhs <laughs> the vhs wow. and uh, okay and put it in uh Make sure you said that V tracking, uh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> oh, shit. the V tracking. <laughs> Remember that shit? Holy crap! Oh my god, scan lines. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> sir, this movie does not disappoint in the least. I think that was a, a, a super hit. This is uh, a, a, from the Arnaldo Cinema. <laughs> 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 this is an Arnaldo, uh, an Arnaldo Martin joint, <laughs> as I described it when I posted. I was watching it. <laughs> Uh, Parasite, ladies and gentlemen, it, uh, it, it is a excellent, excellent uh, piece of cinematography. Uh, one that I will highly encourage uh, all of you. Even if, even I would dare to say, even those who are not super attracted to the to uh, f- you know uh, foreign, foreign, film? foreign films, mm-hmm. yeah, movies, watching movies with subtitles and stuff. Just because of the of the story that the, that it has to tell, and, and and more than the story actually is the movie in it itself is it's very artistically d- well, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I realize that 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 oh, that sounds like a bunch of nothing because yeah, <laughs> movies are art. Whatever. <laughs> now, what I'm trying to say is that like, you could appreciate the art in the in this movie, you know, and uh, and, and 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 it won't. I don't believe it will disappoint unless I am, uh, unless you're getting, you know, thinking that I'm overselling it. <laughs> I don't intend to oversell it, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's just a very, very good film. It bro. is really, really. It's one of those. Like I said, this it is, has so many subjects. Yeah, that oh, you yeah. want that you want later on, you know, talk about, you know, and uh, and 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 moments that are subtle. Uh, they, they're, they're, even the subtlest moment. Leave you thinking of this has a meaning, mm-hmm. you know. A lot of the things that happen, a lot of the sh- even you were just talking about before we started the podcast, and you were mentioning uh, some of the key frames, yeah. you know, uh, 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 of, of some um, scenes. You could tell that there was purpose with the way that it was shown. Yeah, that there was, you know, that was taken. So, uh, so, and the fact that. Yes, it was a foreign film that uh, I know it's in Korean, and I had to read uh, so your subtitles. Did not bother me at all. Like I was into the interest <laughs> yeah, yeah. of the movie. I don't want to call it uh, uh, say much of it because yeah, that's the issue with the with the film. It's like you don't, and I'm glad I didn't. I just gave yeah. you the bare minimum as to what was happening. You so did. You can, I remember. So you yeah, just know. Okay, this is what how it happened though. Mm-hmm is like really well done yeah uh and then of course you know from there the movie takes off into into different directions and you're just like whoa yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah. Whoa, yeah yeah you know in, in in a very good fun you know in an in interesting way you know um uh, uh, again f- I, i'm hope 
I'm I'm hoping that I'm not trying I'm not trying to over I'll, I'll mm-hmm. say I'm not trying to oversell it or or anything like that. Even though I sound very enthusiastic, it's because you know I would say I would not say oh this is the best movie that I've ever watched or anything like that. I'm just saying of recent times this is a movie that should be on top. Yeah, you know, I agree. And it it, it earned what uh, the awards it got. Yes, yes, and, and exactly. And and you gotta remember, this is the movie that we the 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 you spoke of on the previous podcast, uh, the previous episode that uh, that got so many you know, awards, mm. you know, and it was you know uh, Oscar, uh, Oscar winner yeah. and the Palm a bunch. Yeah, it won a bunch yeah. of. Uh, yeah, so I was. Like I needed to see what this was about because I get curious at that point, and mm-hmm. and I'm glad. And that's and why I'm I try not to oversell it as well because, in the end, I think I think everybody can walk away with something awesome about the film, and yeah. and the, you know, but I still think that some people are going to be all the way up, and like me, and and, and I guess you, where it's like, my God, I cannot find a fault in this film, yeah, right. And then you have going to have others who like it, you know, they'll give it a seven seven five, yeah. maybe don't have the same feeling, but. You can't. I don't see you anyone walking away from the film going, "This was just horrible." Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just it's 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 just it's impossible. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah. you just don't <laughs> like movies. <laughs> you know, because you know, it's like or or you don't like being told a story. I, I don't know what else it could be. Uh, yeah. You know what movie? Uh, it it, it not not because the not because the the plot or the subject matter or, or anything is is the same. Um, but you remember Lady Bird? I do. So. I really like the the movie, but when when I sit to think about like okay, so what what was it that that caught it? Because it's not the type of movie that that I don't know. It's I don't even know how to how to describe. It. It's not the your typical movie that follows a formula yeah. that you're like, oh my god, you know. It's it's just the story of someone. Yeah. And it's a moment in somehow life. Yeah. the way, yeah, it's a moment in life, and you know, the coming of age, mm-hmm. the story, you know, this girl, yada yada. But you still enjoy it for what it was, you know, uh, you know, quite a lot. Mm-hmm. And and uh, so so I, it, it reminds me of that. It's one of those movies where, yeah, it's it's like if you ask me, is this my type of movie in particular in general, like. Not necessarily. That's, that's not the, the type of movie that I that I you know looking to 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 watch. But when I see when I saw Lady Bird, for example, I have that you know very good impression of it. And when I saw this one, it was like the same thing. It was like, dude, yes. I was like so nervous when I saw it go up. Like you posted it, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I started going, please. He's he's he's. he's I shouldn't worry. He, he's he's going to like it. It's just, there's no way he can. How can he, he probably won't like be it? as excited. And I kept saying, he probably won't be as excited as me about it, which is fine. Yeah. But he's going to like it. You know what I mean? But it's very hit and miss with me because remember, I I tend to really dislike some movies that evidently it's like in the general sense of cinema and, and, and the general consensus is that these are fantastic movies. Like, I don't know how many times, you know, people hit me upside the head. When they hear you didn't lo- you didn't like Lost in Translation, I'll be like, dude, it's not that I didn't like it. I fucking hated it <laughs> with a passion. Like I felt betrayed, you know. And of course, the same thing with It Follows. It's also it's another one that for in general, people are like very uppity on it. And I was like, dude, why why do you hate me? Like, why you do this? So, but again, that is what I call your 5%. The other 95%, you know, you tend to like hit it out of, out of the park. You know, it's, uh, it, it was, it's definitely uh, a must watch if you guys had the opportunity, if you haven't already. And if you have already, uh, I heard, you know, from people in the know that rewatching it, uh, yes. it's even more enjoyable. And it will be actually coming to Hulu. Uh, to yes. stream on Hulu, so if you don't, if you if you're not, if you happen to have Hulu and you don't want to just go ahead and rent it or anything like that, it'll be there uh, pretty soon. So so you could just watch it there. I bought watch it because I'm like, fuck that, I'm watching this shit again. Yeah, and uh, and and I will probably watch it again because my wife and I started talking. Was I was like, don't make me put it on because I just start <laughs> playing it again. Because she was like, no, didn't this like ah, let's watch. Now we have to watch because now you have a question. Now you, you have you know a question. Yeah, exactly. so, now we have to settle this. Now again. We have to settle it the right way. And no, I'm not going to just forward to it. <laughs> 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 We're going to actually watch it all from beginning to from credit. The beginning, yeah. 
Uh, so let's see. The other the other uh, movie that I watched uh, this week was a movie called the the Laundromat. I believe it was. Called. Oh, Laundromat. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And I really like that movie. Also, uh, I mean, yeah, not not as much obviously, but I, I like it in the sense that this was a movie that I was not expecting that I was gonna like enjoy. Just my wife uh, tends to pick up movies and 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 I'll start watching and it's like the first. Usually, just like we were talking, the first few minutes, you could tell if it's going to grab you or, or not. So the movie doesn't really do much to like grab you in the first few minutes, other than you know, present you with the, with the story of money, I guess, <laughs> if, you had to guess, if you had to guess. Uh, the, 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 the thing with this, with this movie is, is and you could help me on this here, uh, if you don't mind, is uh, this... Uh, Basically, showing showing you what happens uh, in the real world mm-hmm. uh, with a, a, in a lot of situations where uh, companies or in, or uh, institutions will establish like phantom companies. They call them shell, shell companies, companies yeah. uh, to be able to uh, move money mm-hmm. to those you know to those locations uh, and. Uh, Avoid taxes, you know. It could be avoid taxes. It could be launder money, mm-hmm. you know. It could be used. Uh, it, it's it's this nefarious move that it's also uh, to hide money, to hide, yeah, you know, to, to, to hide assets. Yeah, yes, you know what I mean. Because yeah. that's actually the main, like, that's probably one of the main reasons of it is that you have these rich people mm-hmm. who are like, okay, I don't want either. I don't want to pay taxes, mm-hmm. or I need to hide it because of whatever reason, and it just mm-hmm. becomes it's out there. In this shell company, making money for you on top of that. Yeah. Uh, but it is also a shell company. You yeah. know what I mean? So that means they have to have something going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And <laughs> and in the case of the uh, of the film, it's a a fake insurance. Company. Yeah. <laughs> that, and it's uh, well, there was a fake insurance, and they also make mention of other uh, other you know uh, assets that they have that it, that uh, other comp- uh, company or or fake companies or shell companies that they're just a name. Mm-hmm. They're just a name on paper. And somehow the paper can say that this this value at you know like a hundred million dollars, and in the blink of of an eye, because they're nothing, you know, they, they could become completely useless. Mm-hmm. So you could be the owner of this, you know, of uh, of the company that you don't know, you know, what it is because it's in another country, you know, uh, and uh, and then whenever they decide, oh, this mo- this movie is worth. No, this this movie. Sorry, this uh, company is worth nothing. Mm. You know, two hundred bucks. <laughs> yep, from two hundred million or some crazy amounts like that. You know, it's it's basically money written down, not actually backed. Not actually, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's told in a in a very fun way where some of the individuals that you know, th- th- first of all the, the the thing that it does is that it presents almost different takes uh, during the. Let's call it the money laundering process, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, like certain uh, elements <laughs> will they know, they'll, they'll show the story, yeah, yeah, the yeah. story portions, mm-hmm. uh, but it mostly centered about this, uh, this, 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 this person, uh, you know, this, uh, this couple uh, who they have a, you know, a, an accident uh, at, uh, at the beginning of the movie and, and now uh, the widow's trying to, Claim the insurance money, and it turns out the insurance money, the insurance itself, is held by you know a company that is held by a company that really does not really exist, mm-hmm. or it's it, it's it's kind of weird. And then she 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 takes it upon herself to to pursue, you know, mm-hmm. to follow the trail, you know, yep. almost. And uh, and it's you know there's some elements that are you know very comical. Uh, or comical, you know, it's, it's not a comedy. I don't, I don't think it's a comedy, but it it's is. It's not a comedy. It's humorous, but it's definitely, yeah, yeah. You know, and and uh, but it's 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 humorous in the sense that it's presented. But when you start thinking about what it's about, you know, it kind of makes you angry. It kind of makes you like this is fucked up, and this is and and the reason why this exists is because because the law permits it. Yeah, you know, at at the end of it, it's the you know the laws have not been written well enough to where they can cover those loopholes and because of that 
you know, the rich has a way of completely avoiding taxes while, you know, the middle class and the poor, we're, you know, we're, we're stuck on it, you know, yep. you know, we're stuck paying that. And in the meantime, oh, it, <laughs> even uh it, it, even the even the people related to the film itself <laughs> yeah. they actually uh they say you know even even the people in in the, in the movie are uh you know make this practice mm -hmm. you know like the practice you know they have money and just like you said they don't want to pay taxes you know in some other cases is it's 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 basically uh uh Criminals, you know, they need to launder the money, yeah, right. and they they set up this this fake institution. So, so it made me. It, it it's one of those movies that no, it's not bombastic or crazy or anything like that. It's just it almost feels like like I'm watching a documentary, mm -hmm. like a well acted documentary almost, like a dramatization. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say it's a drama a, a dramatization of yeah, of yeah. a documentary. Yeah, yeah. That's actually yeah. really good, and I like the way they portrayed uh, like. In between scenes, they were almost explaining how money, money, money laundering works yeah. and the whole whatever. And it's just like, man, you know, it's just like, I don't know. It, I, yeah, I, it, 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 it leaves you going like, man, this is this is, is this legal? Simple? And it yeah, is. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, exactly. to do. yeah, yeah. It's, it's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, great cast. Oh, a, yeah. a very good cast. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, it has uh, 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 Gary Oldman. Yep. Uh, it have. Uh, 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 Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Um, he had... <laughs> Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. Uh, Gary Oldman and Antonio Banderas play uh, Fonsac and Moseca, which is actually a, a company. Real, yeah, the real yeah. company that... Uh, the, the one that went down, basically. Yes. That kind of shed a light on all this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. David Schwimmer. David, <laughs> David Schwimmer was there. Yes, I've never sure seen him acting on anything else. All Ross, the time. yep. Yeah, Ross, again, from Friends. Ross Geller. <laughs> Ross Geller. <Gallagher. laughs> uh, maybe maybe looking exactly like he would. Like, like Pretty he much. Would, yeah. He just doesn't age. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> or ages well. One of the two. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. This is this one is, is one of those that I would say probably like, uh, you know, a, a, a seven, but... It, it, in a good way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, it's on Netflix, so it's easily obtainable, yeah, easy to exactly, watch. Yeah, exactly. And it's uh, and I think it's fun in, in in its own weird way. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I was going to talk about the third movie that I watched, but honestly, this movie was so garbage that it's, it's, I'm, not, I'm not even <laughs> not care. even going to. I'm not even going to something. Uh, the last thing he wanted, or the last thing. <laughs> She <laughs> expected or whatever the hell it was. Wow. I mean, it was no. Don't get me wrong. It it seemed like it was going to be an interesting story because it's, it's the story of this reporter and she is, uh, the, the, and this is in the in the the eighties, and she the last thing he wanted. The last thing he wanted. Yeah. Uh, read me the synopsis. If uh, the the the, the, the synopsis blur. is yeah the blur. Uh, a, a veteran DC journalist loses. The thread of her own narrative when a guilt-propelled Aaron uh, for his for her father thrusts her from byline to unwitting unwitting what the hell subject in the very story of she's coming. Ah, uh, sir. Even the blurb. <laughs> Even is the not, blurb is, is not boring. Really, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it, it also ha has a Academy Award winner uh, Anne Hathaway. Anne yeah, Hathaway, uh, yes, uh, Anne Hathaway is there. Uh, definitely. Interesting. And Rosie Perez. Rosie Perez is there. Yeah, looking yeah. like a skeleton almost. <laughs> you oh, know? my God. It okay. was like, wow, what happened to Rosie Perez? Damn. Wow. Uh, that's not to say that, you know, they, it, it, it was cool to see uh, her and, and Anne Hathaway. They, I think they were acting very well. You know, this is... But the, the problem with... Oh, Ben Affleck is in it also. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. over him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, and... and and it seemed like it was gonna bring a, an interesting take on that Ronald Reagan era of you know the Contras and the Sandinistas and the mm. whole thing with Nicaragua. Oh, wow, and, okay. And I was like, yeah, yeah, but it, it sounds exciting, but it's it, yeah. super boring, bro. <laughs> it is like no, 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 bro. I walked out of my living room literally. <laughs> <laughs> literally. You walked out of your your own theater. Oh, my own theater. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm not paying for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and time is money. Immediately <laughs> demanded a refund. 
<laughs> so yeah, I, here I said I was gonna, I'm not gonna talk about it. So there you go. You know the title. <laughs> you almost know the synopsis. <laughs> what we're, what it's, we care to read. It's not even worth sitting in your own couch. No, <laughs> no, it's not even worth. You know what? Sk- skip this whole section. There you go. No, actually, I'm done talking about it. <laughs> you know, sir. Uh huh. Oh, so I've been playing. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Division Two this week. Yes, uh, you know, on, on PC, you know, I was I was getting my character. Like I, I think I mentioned in last in last uh, couple podcasts that I got my interest back and and I'm full force and I'm loving every minute of it. Something happened. <laughs> Something Uh-oh. happened last podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's suddenly yeah. you weren't you went ahead and you were like. Done. Three bucks. Three Why bucks. Not, right? Let's it's own three the bucks. original game. And I even reached, three I bucks. even said this. I'm doing this because uh-huh. you said you would join, right? So it's yeah. like, okay. You say, so, yeah, I would yeah. join. So, yeah. which I, to be, to be fair, I almost never, do, I, this, I'm terrible at this. It's, I, I almost never, never, uh, I, I don't tend to play a lot of games online, you know. Although, this type of games, I will always try to, you know, make time for it because I do enjoy them. Uh, but in general, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not much of an online player. Yeah. So we, uh, so uh, I jumped on, and uh, I reached out and said, "Hey, Dave, what you doing? <laughs> you know, how about some uh, Division, Division two? two? Yeah, you know." And, it's like, uh, and uh, he was like, "Oh yeah, uh, yep. I think you were like, I'm just getting home. Give me a second. Give me a yeah. second." I was like, "All right." Uh, and of course, <laughs> you know, I jumped in and made my, made my character, uh, which I was going for an Asian. Uh, um, Vasquez from Aliens. <laughs> you know, nice. that, was, that was the look I was going for. An Asian nice. uh, Vasquez, <laughs> uh, which I don't, I don't know if. Which that, he named, he, he named Asian Vasquez. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name. And frankly, I apologize if that is in any way racist or. <laughs> we don't or, intend to. Oh, yeah, I'm just. You saying, can be racist. I'm just saying if you like the race. The, <laughs> you, you, oh my god, that is not it. Uh, so not from something. I think, I think it is from something. something yeah. yeah. So anyway, I made my character. You jumped on, and Time felt, that's so awful. I gotta say, man, we were up to like one thirty in the morning. Yeah, yeah we were. <laughs> and I gotta say, dude, uh, that's good fun, man. <laughs> it is. Really it's fun, good it? fun. I'm it not is. gonna lie. I, I, I'm, I'm, I might want to remind you, my game of the year last year, <laughs> the Division Two, <laughs> the Division Two, yeah, yeah. just so happened to be like, you know what? That's pretty all right. It's pretty okay. It's, it's pretty all right. Um. I enjoy the gunplay. Uh, I enjoy the movement. Uh, it's very yeah. intuitive. It's uh, and I've heard complaints about the first division from people, who, and they never tried Division Two because of that. Yeah. And I've been telling them it's three bucks. Give it a yeah. shot. I, I was like, I don't have never played the first division, but if it's anything, the controls or anything like this, it's it's very it's simple. Like, I mean, this one's a little bit more refined. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, it's yeah. it's the same thing of cover and so all that. So it's like this is it's a lot of fun. A lot of closing doors on cars for some reason. The yeah, that was the joke. <laughs> that, that that was the joke of, of of Division One. Every time every time you encounter, we, we close to a door, a car door. Even if it was a destroyed car, <laughs> he still closes. Oh, close the door. So like, I why? Uh, why are you doing that? The enemies are like right there. They're gonna hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta so alert yourself. Um, I, um, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I really enjoy. I don't know. The gunplay is fun. Uh, the, the mission. To, to be fair, mm. and I'm gonna be completely honest with you, mm-hmm. I haven't the first clue what's <laughs> happening in the story. Okay, I know that we are of the division, yeah. <laughs> and I was called upon from wherever I was to come <laughs> down to DC because. Something happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here we are in DC, and then we're actually at the White House, and that's yeah. like the base, base of operations. Yeah, the base of operations. Yeah. Um. So that's about uh, that's about the extent of one. And then we've had a couple of missions. Yeah. Where I'm like, I guess we have to just go in and kill everybody. Right? That's, that's the mission. Yeah. That's, had, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty much games. That's usually yeah, how it runs. That's, that's what it is. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh. And I'm I'm definitely digging. I think we're we're not even we're at level five. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're level we're five. Very, we, right. we we tend to play yesterday, but we can because life happened. But, yes. Uh, well, I wanted to go to the next story mission, and yeah. And in here lies the pitfall <laughs> that may actually <laughs> oh this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that may actually kill this train. Uh-huh. For the record, guys. Uh, I'm like, all right, let's go to the next story mission, right? And 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 as we're leading there. And we get to a point, you're like, no, wait, what are you doing? We can't go here because this is a level 7 through 11. And I'm yeah. like, yes, but the next mission is this <laughs> way. What else are we to do? <laughs> and that's where I'm like, oh, that's right. I guess we grind in here for a little <laughs> yeah. while before we go. So, so, <laughs> we, 
we 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 grab the the the, the shape cash caches around and and we uh, take good control because that's the that's what the game intends for you to do. It's like we don't want you to go mission on mission though you could, uh, but they, it it does it's, it's not about booking it through the story because the story is. Like it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It's, oh, it's no, nothing spectacular. And I, I wasn't doing it for the story. Kind of, I was doing it kind of for boring, the actually. this is the next thing. So let's yeah. get to the next mission. You know. What but I mean? it ends up being like I don't know. You you kind of like take a control point here, grab a couple of shape uh uh, ca- uh caches there, and and uh, build up your character, and then oh now you should be level seven if not you know close to. So now it's time to now tackle the mission. The next tackle mission. Yeah. So, uh, so. We try to. We basically, I was heading there. Let's just get to the mission. We'll just, that's all the point of yesterday mm-hmm. was that let's just jump in, do a quick mission while I have the opportunity to do it. Uh, and then you're like, that's when you 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 drop the knowledge on me, and I'm like, <laughs> oh. oh, okay, okay. So I guess what are we I guess doing? it is this time again. <laughs> there, there's a reason you have been enjoying the gunplay. It's because so far everything that you have put the it's radical range, there, yeah. <laughs> you have managed to kill. Exactly. It would not be as funny if suddenly you're a level five, you're attacking a level a seven or, or eight, and then you're noticing like, hey, uh, how come they're so bullet spongy, you know? And and that's the fundamental problem with this sh- uh, RPG shooters, yeah. you know. You still have the you still have the things of the RPG, the 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 qualms of an RPG game mm-hmm. uh, in a sh- in a shooter game. So it doesn't matter how many times you shoot the character. Sometimes you could be like just taking a little bit of life away, and 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 your suspension of disbelief goes away when you realize, oh wait a minute, these are human characters. Why am I shooting him in the face? <laughs> Yeah. And he's not dropping. He's not, like, he's what a, the hell? I huh? get he has a mask and all, but yeah, no, exactly. it only goes but so far. Exactly. <laughs> you know? No, so it yeah. shouldn't take a whole fucking clip <laughs> and then to so, down yeah. this guy. So yeah. yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I, I I like the the skills. Um, particularly, I like the the the, the scanner type of skill where it just kind of uh, it oh, basically illuminates the enemy. It highlights the, the, you know yeah. the enemies around yeah. uh, 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 the pulse. I think it's called the pulse. The pulse. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. uh, 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 skill that. Not a lot of people uh, tend to go for it in the first place, and when I when we started playing with you and you started using it, I realized, oh shit, this is actually very very useful yeah. for playing for playing co op uh, for the most part. And I think the game does a good job of. I think that up. would be. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, I was just gonna say uh, of of letting you know the builds. You know, depending on the build that you choose to go for. You know, if it's gonna help you more towards your game style, if if you wanna if you wanna build a a, a PVE ca- you know character or or be more uh, like on the PC for example, my character is all about uh, single single player you know P- PVE, very survivable. Mm-hmm. Like not not only I have the drone that heals me, but when I get dropped down, I automatically. Uh, Pick, uh, uh, pick back up because yeah, I have yeah. a thing that it automatically uses and it picks me up, you know. But because I have that, I don't have the pulse or the turret or anything like that. I just choose to have that built mm-hmm. because so you, it's you, super you, easy. Yeah. So, well, that's easy. And also, you should probably be more of a like something like that will probably be more of like maybe even a heavy or at least somebody who's who's on the offensive all the time because you're being on the offensive you're going to go down more quickly so yeah. if you can just bloop drop right and jump right back up yeah. you're constantly on the offensive yeah also uh, i like the, yeah. the I, I like using the 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 drones to cuz i've always liked playing a support role uh, which you have, yeah. You, you, which you, your I, drone comes my way. Drone comes your like way and starts hitting you. There's like, like little like pixie dust on me. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Nano machines, bro. <laughs> Nano machines. <laughs> Evidently, yeah. Evidently. <laughs> so I chose that. So no, I like the pulse, and I've, I think we were because I don't know how most people play, and I was listening because we were in a chat group, and I was listening to to, to them listening to us. Uh, we we're, were in the same chat group with with Chaos and with Dark. And they were mentioning how oh they're playing it they're playing I guess the way it shows to be played because they're actually <sighs> talking to each other they they, they whatever yeah. and I was realizing I was like yeah we are playing the same way they were playing in the E3 demo which I remember making fun of yes. like <laughs> yeah nobody plays like that no dude. you know what I mean but <laughs> you really do you re- and we were we would creep up close enough I'd pulse out so we can see where the cluster is yeah and now we're just lobbing grenades at them you know yeah. it's like this is so much fucking fun you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> it's like we know where they're at they're right over there so like, we've, that, that's something that happens when you're playing on the clan or 
with a group of, you know, with a group of friends. Well, I guess your clan will be a group of friends. Will you play with friends? Yeah, you kind of like, uh, like I, I, I kind of like to uh, almost role play my in my agent. I'll too. be like, yeah. you know, like I'm contact be twelve o'clock yeah, or yeah, yeah. you know, sound like you know, come and get us like that because it's 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 fun. Yeah, you know, when I play with randos, it's it's nothing like that, obviously, because uh, like I believe yesterday, I uh, I had a, a PlayStation on PC uh, with this uh, with this uh, person, and and to be fair, I, I we had a lot of fun because it, they it, every week it they open a new area of the map. In this case, this area takes place like an, on a college campus, mm -hmm. and you have to do several Georgetown. daily. Is that what it? It has to be. It Georgetown has to be something big, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, their version of it. I yeah. forgot what it's called, but yes, yes, it's 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 supposed to be like in the north part of of uh, Georgetown University. Yeah. That's probably where it's at. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably that. Yeah. And and uh, so so I had a, a very good, very fun PlayStation with this random person that was playing with me, uh, and and I, I wish I could have stayed more, but I had to uh, wake up uh, early the next day. But it was nothing like that. It was it was very silent, you know. Uh, if if we mention something, it'll be on keyboard. Cause it, I mean, we have the capabilities of communicating, but it's not the same, you know. When I'm playing with you yeah, or with yeah. Chaos or, you know, or with Dark uh, that I just met y y yeah, yesterday, I had the pleasure or the day, the day that we, yeah, that we played, play, yeah. I think the day before. Um, Shout out to Dark, I'll, by the way, yeah. I'll, I'll be like all up on. Yeah, yeah. I'll be, yeah. you know, like, you know. That'd be great, yeah. I, honestly, I, I'm, um, I can see that it's going to take a little bit to get there, but mm -hmm. I am curious of setting up a day when we're all of level and really go in and take on one of those long eight player type raids. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and we're good enough to go in and we're using, you know, we're, we're smartly using the devices that we have available to us and, and, and just being yeah. tactical. And that I think is what I, what I can see what I'd assume that this is what you're, you're, attracts you to the game it's like it's yeah. not just a running gunner you you need to be a little bit more time sure we're in level five mm. and maybe we don't need to be that tactical now but mm. having that already instilled in you and playing in that manner you know by the time you get to the much more tougher stuff that is going to require some serious tactical uh uh planning mm. uh you know so i can see that being really a, a lot a lot of fun so I, i'm actually i'm looking forward to it. i i hope we can get to it because like I said, when we first when it got in yesterday, and I was just like, "Oh, I guess we have to grind <laughs> to get to level seven so that we can move on to the I next know, thing." We're still, in, the, we're still doing. We it were together. having fun, yeah. We were still having fun, and, 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 I, and I love shooting those dogs. So yeah, I mean, oh, no, no, that's horrible. <laughs> Do not shoot the dogs in this game. If you're gonna play with, if you're gonna, if, if you're gonna play with me, we cannot be shooting dogs. Or we can shoot the the, the, the deer because the that right. deer, that's game. That's out there. I was trying to stop them from alerting the other people. That but I was here. you shot. <laughs> a dog and I was like dude you committed a crime you're going down <laughs> I will go rogue on your ass can you're you go like, rogue uh on in the dark zone in the dark see zone. this this are this are sections this, I mean these are things that the, the more you play the more you learn the, the language of the game mm -hmm. and and the things because the game actually it, it, it does have a fair amount of things to do and a fair amount of surprises uh uh you know like you know the hunters for example trying to get you know trying to get them uh, and of course, you search for exotics and stuff like that, which are weapons that look like insane mm. for for it being based on real, real life, life war <laughs> like, weapons. What it's is like, that? Yeah. Okay, this <laughs> weapon you never needs to reload because it happens to be like what thing with a belt, like <laughs> commando style, <laughs> That's and, pretty you know, cool, like that. Yeah. That's it's, pretty cool. It's they 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 do go out, you know. They they wanna. They they try to destiny it up, you know. You can see, you hey, can see. There's a reason why destiny has such a big fall. I mean, yeah, you, you have you have to have a reason to, to want pursue those loot, things. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, otherwise, oh, yeah. What's the point? Yeah, but that was a complaint of the first one, right? I was like, oh, so this is an exotic whatever, and this <laughs> is a, a a common whatever, and you look at them, they, they look, look, the look exactly the same. Yeah, yeah you know. So <laughs> I get it, you on, know. <laughs> on this one, the exotics, uh, you know. Uh, they do look they're you know, pretty pretty rad and makes you want to like pursue them. So uh, so in the dark zone, uh, you know, say we, you know we play we go as a group. Now this is a part where you see that E3 demo of 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 early uh, mm -hmm. of the original division, yeah. where they suddenly encounter other players, and 
at some point they're cooperating, they're attacking the bad guys, and then when you're finding because you're getting also loot, but the loot is supposed to be like contaminated, and you have to you can't take it with you. You have, you have to, to put it on the out, yeah. you have to get it flown out exactly. Mm-hmm. You have to get it extracted, you know, and that's where tables could turn, and any did any person that was quote unquote helping you at some point they could turn you know rogue and suddenly you know n- now you have a battle you know yeah, yeah. Uh, so so those things are interesting because they're always tense mm-hmm. you know because you I, never know because you never know mm-hmm. and people were complaining on the division too they try to make those uh, a little bit more uh friendly, friendly towards oh, new players funny. and i, I, I could have appreciated that oh yeah that's all you just got to know that that's yeah, potential, well, a potential may happen. I could have appreciated, you know, that because I I do like the idea of exploring the dark zone because it's a whole new it's a whole new area and enemies are tougher and the loot is better and it is you know once you go the, the division has is a huge map but every now and then you will start recognizing the places that you've been already whether the dark zone it just seems like new ground mm-hmm. you know uh, at least to me that I haven't explored you know that much of it. So, so you want to do that? So, so I want to do that. So at first, I thought, well, the idea of making it a little bit more approachable to new, you know, new games, da da da. It you know, it was fine, but I guess that's not really what the Dark Zone was all about. The Dark mm-hmm. Zone was always hardcore. This yeah. is the hardcore. Hence the name, the Dark. dark yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like... so the developers realized that people were complaining about that in the division two, and they reeled it back. So now the division, the, the, so dark, the dark zone, zone is, dark. as they say, for the for the wolves, not the che- no, no, not, not the, the che- sheep. sheep. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's kind stay of outside, like, sheep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stay outside. You, oh, you don't want, you want to play? You know, thing, uh, stay on the safe on the yeah, safe ground. Stay on the bunny slope. You'll be yeah. all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're ready to join the big guys <laughs> with the big guns, <laughs> yeah. quite literally. Yeah. Uh, that's then when you see us. go into the dark zone, and nice. that, that's. Kind of like what I'm hoping that and I, we got to play. And I Google. get it that that can be. I get that some people could look at that and go, "Well, that's not being inclusive and all this." And I'm like, "Yeah, but it's that conversation still, we were having." Yeah, I know that yeah. the conversation we had before, but I was like, "Yeah, but you have still have the majority of the game." Yeah, to, to, yeah. you know. So the story yeah. is in the it's in that safe yeah. area, so, you know. Yeah. So exactly, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> the story and and everything else is in there. So yeah, yeah. And also, to be fair, I've gone to the dark zone where. Uh, I haven't got to other places. And yes, I got that freak out moment of, oh shit, you know, I'm not really that good yet. So this person's just going to mow it and, and it's going to take my shit. And, but they, like, they look at you and they just don't care. They go their way because they're probably thinking the same yeah. way, the same thing about you. It's yeah, like, oh yeah. shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, so, so, all right. <laughs> We're the dark zone here. All right. Uh, I don't shoot if you don't shoot. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we could be civil about this. <laughs> we'll we'll remain we civil. Yeah. civil. <laughs> By the way, the game does have active. Uh, the, the the mics are active in the dark zone the whole time. You nice. can mute it if you prefer not to, mm-hmm. but for the most part, so you can mute them, but you can't mute yourself. I think you can. Uh, yeah, you can mute them definitely. Okay. Uh, especially you if you're to, getting yeah. re uh, people. Uh, yeah, louder play, being yeah. rude and or loud or whatever. But yeah, you can actually. It, it's cool because uh, you can also you can you can you can choose to. Okay, I'm within listening distance, so I can hear you. You know, if, if we if we're speaking, um, which enhances the sense of I guess immersion and realism. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Yeah. So no, I I like it. I like it. I want to keep playing. Uh, Who would have thought? The, the, yeah, a shooter. Yeah, a shooter. Uh, yeah, a, sh- uh, a, a game as service shooter. A game, a gas yeah. shooter. A gas guys. shooter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from Ubisoft. From, from Ubisoft. Right? <laughs> yeah. uh, that's really. Next thing you know, he's gonna be playing GTA Online. The, mm, ah, mm, it's probably the same experience for the people that have played there. Mm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute! That's right. The shooting is not fun. In the, those games. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. I don't know about that one. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really all I've been playing. Uh, I have, as far as watching, I really want to bring up one thing. But I did finish um, finish uh, Stranger Things, uh, the rewatch, the rewatch, and yeah. all three seasons. And I gotta say, nah. uh, after watching it for quite some time, it has it's gotten. It, I realized watching it now in, in its completion that. Mm. The first season was actually pretty tame uh, compared to the. Now, for the record, this is not. If you haven't seen it, the show, is not. 
it is not meant to be real, real life, right? right. I mean, obviously, when when things are happening and the creatures and and and, and all this going on in this weird spiritual world or, so, or whatever parallel universe thing, that thing tends to freak people out, right? People are going to act like, oh shit. The, the world's coming to an end, right? Yeah. Here, obviously, people are a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> you have one-liners. They have all this stuff where you're they, like, they accept okay. it almost yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. Oh, so, and I think that's. I heard about this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh-huh. So it's um, but it's I realized that it's actually gotten progressively the C, the series got progressively more uh dangerous, uh more you know there's more stakes involved, and mm. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and I'm I can't wait now for uh, for the next season. And I hope that they 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 wrap up like they said with it. They they said they were going to only do four. I think uh, a, f- a few years ago they upped it to five, but it's just like don't don't yeah. get it to the point where it's like now we're yeah. watching for no reason. You yeah. know what I mean? It's I get it. I get everybody involved. I get it. it's a money maker. I get it, but you lose the vision when you go too far. You know what I mean? So I was happy walking when they had the walk. <laughs> Walking Dead is like the prime example of what not to do. Yes. It's in the uh, title. Oh, uh, don't get me wrong. Dead. I follow Norm Reedus on Instagram. Oh. And I just found out the new season's out. I'm like, oh, oh my God, it's still out there. <laughs> what the hell? It's still have, Wow. Uh, and he's still on it, of course. So <laughs> he might as well be because when he leaves, that's it. The show's dead. Do you know? That's it. Yeah, Nobody's no, going right. to watch it after that. Do you know of anybody, anybody in the circle of friends that, that still watches it? That still watches it? No. Right, well, my entire circle has exited the yeah. walking, the Walking Dead. So I, I don't know who's still watching it. Really, yeah, I know, right? I have no idea why they feel like they should. Now, if they announce a season finale, uh, uh, a uh, a final season, final season, I can see people like coming back. Coming over. back to like, see. Like, how okay, it, I need yeah. to see how the fuck this end. Yeah, yeah. How, how do point, they wrap this up? But at that point, I, like I've been so far away from it, I have uh. no clue what's going on. Uh. So it's like I. I know that that's what the rewatches happen the, for the people oh, that want to like, like catch up, that, and no. when they finally see the end <laughs> and the light, the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> not no, even me. Nope. Not even. Uh, I don't even think I would go back. Just I wouldn't even watch the last season. I'm like, oh, it's finally dead, guys. It's <laughs> finally dead. Uh, what I did start watching, uh, I watch on HBO. It is a show called The Outsider, oh. and it is. I'm going to set the premise for this particular uh, show here because it is, I love mysteries, right? I love mm-hmm. it when something can present to me an amazing mystery. And so this show, this is just from the first episode. I've only seen the first episode and there's 10 uh, and only, I think, seven or eight have aired like because HBO does the weekly thing. So oh, we right, still have right. two weeks left. So, uh, or two episodes left. So the, the crux of the story is, there is a murder that happens in uh, a small town. Small town, I think it's in. Oh, what is this? I remember seeing the thing, the city. Anyway, it's a small. Amorocho. No, 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 no. It's here in America. It's oh. it's small town USA. We call it. Nice. I can't think of the the city there it's at. But Georgia, somewhere in Georgia. But anyway, the Gainesville. Um, the Gaines, no. <laughs> <laughs> so the so a murder happens, and it is a murder of a child, and it is a a gruesome murder of a child. Like it's, it's one of those things where first off from this episode alone, I would tell you, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Yeah. Holy from the, just from this episode, I haven't seen the rest of them. I don't know if uh-huh. anything else is choose, but just from episode one, I can tell you knowing how you, who you are and yeah. you're my bro. And I know your, I know your taste and certain things. This is not for you. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Um, Skipping it completely. Yeah, so <laughs> cover my ears right now. <laughs> Go at it. So the um, the, uh, the the murder happens, and like I said, it's very gruesome. And and, and they find the body is of a, of a a boy. If I had to guess the age, maybe eight or ten, uh, and it's not all in one piece. So <laughs> <laughs> so uh, wow. it is graphic. And my immediate thought was. Why why would you why would you make it this graphic? You know right. what I mean. Well, and it's one thing to say, "Hey, that's what we found." It's different to show. It's one other thing. It doesn't just show it to you. Mm. It has those weird moments where it just kind of catches an angle and then it quickly cuts away. But you've seen just enough. Enough, yeah. And it's just like, why why would you do that? Yeah. Um, there's a reason, and you can agree or not agree as to as to it's a good reason or not. But the the reason is, y- you have to understand. The graphic nature of what they found mm. to understand why it leads to the events of the, of, of the episode. 
So the the person finds the main sheriff of the town, uh, and it, he's he's basically investigating, uh, you know, who who it happened, whatever. It turns out that the number one suspect turns out to be the coach that the entire town knows. Uh, it is, oh, it, it, shit. yeah, it's like it, it, they they saw him there. He was in a white van. Uh, he had blood on him. Um, and and uh, you know, it, uh, a girl saw him there. She goes, "Coach, are you okay? You look like your nose is bleeding." And you know, whatever. And he's like, "No, I'm good." Whatever. He drives off. Right. Then he goes somewhere else. And he's, uh, he, he's, I guess he's wiped away. He goes to like some bar. Um, it, no, he goes to like a strip joint, uh-huh. right? And of course, the owner of the strip joint knows him and goes, what do you do? Because he's a coach for like a little league, right? Uh-huh. So what is a coach of a little league doing at a strip bar? You know what I mean? Yeah. So he stands out there, but he he's his face is longer there, but he's got blood on him. So he goes, I just need to change. Can I go somewhere to change? Like, yeah, yeah, go right in the back. It's over here. So witnesses are like, we see him. We know who he is. Yeah. And he's a pillar of the community. You know what I mean? So yeah. so they're like, and it's starting to point to this freaking guy did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, 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 it's about the most obvious thing you can think of. So, Which is exactly what they would want you to. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to say who the, who the, his, his, the, uh, this is the part that really, the casting works so well here. Uh-huh. Um, the coach is Jason Bateman. Okay, and he is at a little league, uh, um, like b- b- ball game uh-huh. when he gets arrested, and you can tell he is absolutely shocked. He's like, uh-huh. "What? What are you talking about?" And you know, Jason. I don't know if you've seen Jason Bateman in movies, but he is a great actor for the record. Yeah. Um, and he plays that normal, down to earth guy that you just know. There's no way Jason Bateman did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you just saw a cut scene or, or 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 a retelling of a story that's done in in you know visually. Uh, of him oh, and you're like what the hell and then you're seeing him and he's like it's the most insane thing by the end of the episode he tells him he's, he gets arrested mm. and of course he's like pissed because he's just like dude you just ha-, he's talking to the sheriff who he's known forever mm. he's, uh, he's like you just ruined my life do you understand that do you understand what you just did to me my life is over because of this and and of course they're like we don't give a shit you don't understand do you understand why we're doing this because because normally they could have arrested him off to the side not in view of everyone because it was literally during the game uh-huh. so but there, again the the if you look at the the what happened you can see the anger why they would do that yeah even to someone kind of like known, almost going to lynch them correct to lynch even to someone they know their entire life because they just they, they have so much evidence to prove this uh-huh. was him. And they're in shock. So the so the when you say you know it shows him doing this and going and it going to the bar, kill, it's, yeah. it's not it's not that it it's basically the retelling. It it's almost correct. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's not the move. It, it's not you know the episodes intentionally showing you well this is the bad guy and here we're showing it correct. To you. It's being retold it's just from like the story. Yeah, yeah. Someone is telling recounting it. Recounting. Gotcha. So and there's also video, right? They show uh-huh. they have the video of him at the strip bar and they see him with the clothes and he comes out and he goes whatever. Uh, and of course he calls his lawyer and all this stuff. And, and I know I feel like I'm spoiling it, but this is literally episode one and it mm-hmm. is the setup for the mystery. For the, what, the action, right? yeah. So he says, I was in a conference 70, uh, some t- town 70 miles away. And he's like, do you have proof whatever? Of course, the people were there. You can, I was with this person. He literally recounted what he did without skipping a beat. Uh-huh. He's like, this is what I was. This is what I did. So investigation happens, whatever. They find video and there he is. Oh, he there. is in the same. He's at a he has at a conference, same time, same day as this is happening, which they have also video uh-huh. of someone else who looks just like him. Uh huh. Wow. In the same town, and but and there and in there lies the mystery, my oh, friend. Oh wow! <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you just spoiled the first episode completely. <laughs> I did, but understandably, <laughs> I didn't spoil it. Well, that's actually in the trailer for the record. Uh-huh. So the fact that he, he, you know, at the end of the trailer, they go, "How can that be if he was? You know, how can that be if he was over here?" Yeah. Uh, but. I am so intrigued that I'm just like, I'm ready to, <laughs> to dive right out. back into this show. Uh, it's called The Outsider again. It's on HBO. Jason Bateman. Uh, I don't recognize any of these. I already yeah. know who did it. Okay. It the was, Outsider? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so. I'll uh, beat you to it. And that, guys, <laughs> it is all that I've been doing. Recording, we should be. And guess what? We are back. 
<laughs> uh, we're back, guys. And it is time for our trailer of the week. Uh, our trailer of the week, uh, guys, is a little title called Candyman. Okay, that's one. Well, you have to say it into a mirror, and there's no mirror here. Uh, so hello, gonna... look behind you. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you can't trick me that easily, my friend. <laughs> not to say. You have to look into the mirror and say it, and I am not looking into the mirror. So uh, a movie called Man of Candy. <laughs> uh, yes. Amanda Candy, is uh, it? Amanda Candy, yes. Oh, okay. uh, it appears like it's a... It's not a remake. It feels no. like it's happened. Like everything that took place, you didn't see the originals. Sir. No. Uh, the originals were not, I don't want to say they were gory, gory, uh, but they were, you know, they had it had its moments. If there's one scene that mm. I will, if there's one phrase and one scene that mm. will always stick with me from that film, mm. uh, is the original, is that I will gut you from groin to gullet. It's a oh, phrase shit. that was like it lived wow. in infamy in the back of my head somewhere, and then of course he does that, you know. Oh, <laughs> you know so you're like, at some point he does it to someone, and it's just like, yeah, because it's it, one of those a, things that he has like, a fucking hook for correct, a hand, for a hand. Yeah. Yes, uh, oh, I can't man. honestly. I can't. To be honest with you, I almost kind of want to revisit the original because I, I don't remember what led him to become what led Candyman to become Candyman. Uh, but it looks like it takes place in the same city. It was probably that bad. The, uh, well, well, yeah, I guess maybe that's what it is. <laughs> uh, it, it's in the same city uh, that they mentioned, um, it, which at that time in, in the 90s, it was projects, you know, the, 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 your, your urban projects and all that stuff. Here it looks like they, they're back there, but it looks like the town has been moved, you know, made a little bit better, you know, right. gentrified and all that. Yeah. So it rings true to being like, it looks like it's a continuation of it. So I'm not entirely uh. sure if it's continuing from the very last one, um, or if it's continuing, you know how they sometimes they they do a soft reboot. Kind well, of? yeah, something like that, or or sometimes they'll cut out a certain like you know what this is after Candyman two. We're not going to recognize Candyman three. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, that, that, that was type like, of thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. So they're gonna Terminator, <laughs> Terminator <laughs> exactly. <They're gonna> terminate <laughs> the the bad sequel. The ba- yes, uh, the original Candyman was in 1992. Uh, then you had Candyman Farewell to Flesh in 1995. Candyman Farewell to Flesh, okay. Farewell to Flesh, yeah. Candyman Day of the Dead in 1999, which was a straight-to-video movie. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. Well, <laughs> Which says it all, really, right? <laughs> yeah. about that, right? Um, this one here uh, is coming out, obviously, this year. So what do we say now? Do we say straight to streaming services the straight to netflix movie straight to but the netflix no, movies are straight, good i think it's straight to home video because you can because you can i mean dvds but are still a thing are they though what do you think about them? not for me no. <laughs> <laughs> well they still exist bro <laughs> what are we gonna do there's a there's a big portion of america that does not have this the high-speed internet that we though the high-speed internet that do no it doesn't even need to be that high it could be like a phone and everybody has phones with yeah but you still speed. need a you still need a network near you bro <laughs> there's thinking. a lot of america that doesn't have that I think you're yeah, thinking, you're, maybe, uh, yes, yeah, a lot of it does, yeah. but there's a That's lot of true. America does not. That's so true. There's out there, as a matter of fact, there's a, there's a, there's like the sole blockbuster video or something like that, or home video, whatever. Yeah, blockbuster that in it, Alaska, I think it, it is. Is it Alaska? Well, I thought it was in Alaska. I thought it was like in Montana or some shit like that. <laughs> no, so definitely not Montana. Like, it could be. <laughs> it's possible. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> they got satellite service. The, they do. I that they know. do. Um, so yeah, that's um, Candyman. So Candyman. <laughs> Candyman. So uh, what do you think? You're gonna well, do it? I I like I wasn't like it was weird to me that you would put a, a, a trailer for a horror movie. Uh, Why not? We, we had, I don't know. Yeah. It's uh, there. There's certain horror movies that yeah, you kind of you you kind of get excited about what about watching like uh, shit like freaking. Uh, Oh, nothing. Oh, what the hell was that called? Uh, the the red balloon. Oh, it. The, it like yeah. it. Yeah, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> so simple so word. Simple, yeah, <laughs> and, and stuff like that. But uh, but this one, I started watching the 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 trailer because I was like, okay, you know, candy man. I've heard about you know the the, the movies. I'm not a, a, a huge fan of you know those type of movies. But then 
I saw that Jordan Peele seems yeah, to be uh, like is it, uh, is it producing, directing? Is it what he's, he's in a producing role, he's in a producing which role? It, it can be twofold. A lot yeah. of a producing role for the record is usually just hey, here's money, yeah, <laughs> you know, for the movie. <laughs> hey, uh, money, give me your name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lend us you, your name. Yeah, you can lend us uh, your name. But on top of that, you have you have certain producers who are way more hands on. Yeah, um, uh, can't think of his name. Jerry Bruckheimer is a is is a well known producer mm. of a lot of different films. Uh, he may not be the one directing it, but he's the one producing it. And, but he's because he's putting money into it, he has a little bit of a say, and he's like, uh, "Well, you know." So I feel like Jordan Peele may have more of a say. He's just not directly involved with the direction of the film. Oh, I gotta um, wish he does, because even the trailer felt it, like it, right? It felt like felt it a like lot, it. Yeah. yeah, to the point where even the what what they take. They take the mu- they, they take the, the the music and they change it. Like in this case, they say my name yeah. for some reason. That's gotta be like the one. And uh, we'll say my name. Say yeah, of Candyman. course, say my yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Like, say my, but I'm thinking of the actual you know, song. When oh, I think yeah. of the actual song, it's like, oh, okay. So, uh, the other one was for us. For us was, was uh, for I got five yes. on it. <laughs> <laughs> which which every, is a great song. Every, oh, that is dude, a great I version. I downloaded <laughs> it. I have that. I have that. Song. Wait, is that is that a different version? That version in the in the in the in is the, that, in the can trailer. I buy that? I don't know if you. Could, I, I'm sure you could. Oh, but I, I, I have the original. I, lo- I, lo- I really like the original. And every now and then, <laughs> I'm at work working, and for some reason, I just break out into I got five on it, and <laughs> people start chuckling because nice. it's. Dude, <laughs> it's a great song. It's hey, a, great it's a song. fantastic song. So yeah, it does feel like that because uh, of the trailers being so similar to uh, us. I'm just hoping it's not as obtuse as us was, yeah. as, as as to the point where and 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 not that if anybody like uh, us, it's fine. I didn't care for it much. Um, I kind of got I turned like off by mystery. it. I wanted to watch it, but I kind of got turned off by the fact that uh, you basically told me, you know, all of it, it sounded like. I like them. Oh, you didn't see it. Oh, okay. I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't okay. see uh, uh, us. Us. Yeah, I oh. saw. I saw um, the other one. <laughs> oh, get out. Yeah, get out. Yeah, get out. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, us was just. Uh, it was a little bit just odd. It did have good moments. For the record, mm-hmm. it's not a bad movie. And I'm in any way saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying I think I had a different expectation going into it. Yeah. Particularly coming out of get uh, uh, get out. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say get us. Uh, oh, the, yeah. the, the perfect match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 Get that's us the to say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, So that's um, th- I think that's what really turned my. I want to kind of see it again. My wife hasn't seen it, and it's on HBO. So I kind of want to put it on for her and just go. All right, honey, what do you think? You know, because you know, and and maybe through the rewatch, I can go. Now that I know what it's about, let me yeah. put my expectations no longer there. Uh-huh. Let me just look at it again. Uh, because it's just different, and maybe I, I, if I do, I'll let you know, and maybe you can uh, check it out on your on your own. Uh, check but, it out, but uh, it is it is strange to say yeah. the least. Yeah. Uh, least. So, get us candy, man. I've got nothing. I've got nothing to 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 even <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> other than to say. Good one, sir. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. you go. Good one. Oh, wait. We're going for the news. The, get ready. We are going for the news, sir. It is now time for the useless news that, we can that use. you can use. Uh, first and foremost is not... Uh, this is probably the biggest news piece of the week. Uh, according... this is I'm pulling this from Polygon. This year's Game Developers Conference has been postponed from March to summer. Uh, Called it. In the wake of high-profile withdrawals by companies that had planned to attend. Uh, companies like Sony, Microsoft, Epic Games, Unity, Activision, Blizzard, Amazon, and Facebook, including Oculus, all canceled plans to attend the show, citing health concerns related to the spread of the of the novel coronavirus, a.k.a. COVID-19. That's the actual code name? Yeah, okay. COVID-19 okay. something. Interesting, yeah. yeah. GDC uh, was scheduled to be held March 16th through the 20th in San Francisco, but organizers say the show, or rather GDC event, will now be held sometime this summer. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you called it on your last post when you said that, was it the Microsoft one that Microsoft was Microsoft was, uh, was leaving, and then EA also and was pulling out, and I was like, yeah, this, they're, they're going to suspend this. Yeah. They're probably going to... And you know what I just realized? <laughs> a bunch of my news were 
companies that were not attending. <laughs> so with this umbrella that you basically threw. Sorry. No, I'm like, uh, I'm left with uh, no, uh, no much. I, I did want to talk about this because it sounds actually kind of it, uh, kind of interesting. Uh, if you still care about Star Wars, no, come on, oh. don't be so mean. So there was a uh, there was a, a thing on Eurogamer that says Star Wars big new uh, story era announced without a without a ta- without an attached video game basically. Mm-hmm. But um, and I'll read you from again uh, a Eurogamer. Lucas Art has unveiled its new story setting for the Star Wars franchise. And it is widely expected, and as widely expected, it is an era called the High Republic. Uh, contrary to previous reports, this big news uh, multimedia franchise uh, push does not, as of yet, uh, include an attached video game. I-, I did not expect an attached video game to it. Why? Why? Why is that the part of the news? Uh, a number of reports on the Star Wars leak sites previously detailed. Uh, the name and rough time period of the High Republic set several hundred years before the Skywalker saga, uh, which Lucasfilm has been quietly working on behind the scenes since at least 2018. Free from the confines of the well-charted uh, Skywalker era, uh, this new story setting was, uh, those reports said, to uh, set to be, oh, sorry, set to be explored via a range of books, comics, films, and kick off with a video game. Yeah. But we don't need the video game. It's not happening. Uh, but today, official announcement leaves out reference to any video game project. And, it's, and it is careful to state that the High Republic would not overlap with any of the film features or series currently planned uh, for production. As previously leaked and confirmed, uh, and confirmed in the announcement... The High Republic is sort of a golden age for the Jedi, where peace reigned throughout the galaxy, uh, though still trou- so trouble still brew along its frontiers. So this is, and then it, it, it breaks down into uh, the first wave of High Republic stories set across a young adult uh, n- uh, novel, Star Wars The High Republic, Into the Dark by Claudia Gray, uh, mm. a middle grade novel, Star Wars High Republic, A Test of Courage by Justina Ireland, and uh, IDW comic book series, Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, a Marvel comic book series, Star Wars High Republic by Kevin Scott, and an adult novel, Star Wars The, uh, Star Wars, the High Republic, <laughs> the Light of the Jedi. By Charles Soul. I think I've read Char- Charles Soul uh, work before. I, I think that name sounds very familiar. I don't remember where. Hmm. Uh, so basically, this is to say, okay, we already told the story of the Skywalker era, uh, of the Skywalker saga. Uh, saga. Uh, we don't want to go into the Old Republic yet, or maybe, or or, or maybe, maybe. Uh, we are going to, but that's going to be done for films and stuff. We don't want anything to overlap with anything because God knows that went terrible, <laughs> terribly with the Skywalker saga. Yeah, sure did. So, uh, so now we have a section of time that we're going to talk about. Uh, I don't know if they're going to start start each of them with a long time ago, but not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> but not that and long a galaxy ago. far, far away. Yeah. But not that far away. But not that far. <laughs> not that other galaxy. A whole new galaxy. <laughs> this is the higher galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The High Republic. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. If, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I, I mean, read it open. I was like, uh, I'm, I just at, kind of. at first I was very skeptical because again, I, I, uh, dude, Star Wars. This last trilogy was. So such a colossal disappointment, uh, especially the the, the way the, the the way they finalized that. It, it kind of took a, the the it left the a bad wind. taste yeah. in my mouth. Yeah, you know, yeah. When it comes to just the this just is, the property in general, I'm just like I I not. It doesn't seem like it was treated seriously. It, it definitely no. seems like it was just milked. Uh, you know, for all it's worth, a, right? Because you throw in in the a bad Rogue way though, and you throw in uh, Cause, Solo. Cause, 
Yeah, yeah. say what you will about the, the uh, about the prequels, but uh, you know the prequels were silly and and some no, decisions were were stupid and the acting some of it was or a lot of it was kind of terrible, but you could tell it was still a, a labor of love. Yeah, and. And you you have to think of what you were comparing it to, you know. You're putting it about, you know, a, 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 you were comparing it with the mighty of, you know, the original trilogy, mm -hmm. you know, and what that meant. And so, so of course, it was kind of the laughing stock for the longest time. But now I, I have nothing but respect for the, the for the prequels, you know, of which I never thought it was going to be possible because when I put it, when I compare it to this, and this is supposed to be like. The supposed ending to it. This this is a joke. This this should be like completely <laughs> retcon, yeah. you know, and and, bad, and, and retold, you know, by George Lucas again. <laughs> <laughs> George Lucas, get, uh, get what is it? Was it four billion that that uh, Disney paid for Lucas for Luca? Lucas Art or yeah, Lucas Films or Star Wars obscene. in general? Yeah, 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 yeah. So my God, obscene, man, yeah, I know. <laughs> So I yeah, know. so when I look at this Psycho Man uh, stuff, you know, the novels have various levels of interest uh, of uh, of uh, quality, mm -hmm. and sure, why not? You know, I don't want to completely hate on Star Wars because of one movie, you know. True, but mm. I know. <laughs> that one movie, I know. I know. I know. I tell you. The more I think about it, the anger I get. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> angry. I'm not gonna lie. The more, the more, the more time passes, the more it goes from disappointment to just, just pure hatred. Yeah, it's just <laughs> I'm giving. I, I'll give in to hate. Uh, yeah, I think so. One. I think I'm clearly on the dark side. Yes. Uh, my next piece, guys, fans who buy Cyberpunk 2077 for the Xbox One Ooh. will receive the Xbox Series X upgrade free of charge Booyah! as soon as it's ready. Uh, the announcement was made this morning by CD Projekt Red on Twitter. This is from their Twitter Man. post. Gamers should never be forced to purchase the same game twice or pay for upgrades. Owners of Cyberpunk 2077 for Xbox One will receive the Series X upgrade for free when available. Uh, and then, of course, linked to this uh, particular uh, post is Microsoft uh, announcement made the uh, same basically that morning of this uh, article, highlighting the company's announcement of smart delivery. Uh, the new technology doubled downs on the console's manufacturer's history of backwards compatibility, allowing fans to access uh, finds access to four generations of games across all of its consoles. Uh, this quote, this technology empowers you to buy a game once and know that whether you're playing it on Xbox One or Xbox Series X, you're getting the right version on that game. Uh, wait, of that game on whatever Xbox you're playing. Uh, Xbox, uh, Microsoft said it is committed to implementing the feature for all of its own Xbox Game Studio titles and open up the opportunity to participate in other uh, for other developers as well. CD Projekt Red is one of the first to announce that it will take part. Uh, this, my friend, is Whoa. a... Str this is... An, uh, first off, it's great. And this is a great thing to have. This, okay? is, this is Xbox. Greatness awaits. Greatness <laughs> awaits, my Oh, I'm friend. sorry. Sorry. Xbox. For the player. <laughs> the, yeah, all of the above. <laughs> uh, this is an absolute awesome announcement. And let me tell you, yeah. Sony needs, Sony needs to, if they don't already have <laughs> the plan, they need to now go, all right, guys, I guess we're going to have to do this. Because <laughs> uh, let me tell you, the, 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 um, the paying for remasters, the paying for a game that you already have, yes. that is clearly getting old, right? I mean, it's yeah. cool, you know, with the fact if you missed it, your newest console will have it available for you to play. That's yeah. cool. But if you already had it, um, it's a shame that you can't just, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's something. And I get it. I, you know, that's the, you know, uh, Sony obviously does have its first party studios and that's the reason you go there. Mm. Uh, and I get that. But Microsoft now also has its first party studios. And while it may take 18 months to get a, a exclusive onto their newest thing, you still have a good reason to go there because particularly some of those older 
uh, games will most likely transfer over as well. Yeah. Uh, so this is a this is this is uh, this is a a huge point uh, for X, uh, Microsoft and Xbox and Sony. Man, you guys gotta you guys gotta do it. When you, it's yeah. so weird because when you consider the ease uh, uh, as of how they make, you know how everybody t- uh, uh, talks about oh the Netflix of games. Yeah. You know, well, so far Microsoft with its uh, game uh, Game Pass is the closest thing that you have to that. Realize, yeah, because they're not giving you old games. They're they're not giving you you know like oh this is the classics that you grew up with. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. They're giving you like their greatest from this stable of games, and then some other ones also mm-hmm. on top of that. And 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 and, and then you not know, you 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 got that, and you paying up pittance for, uh, 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 ten bucks a month. Ten, yeah, yeah. For, for for that. Um, but then you see announcements like this, like mm-hmm. how awesome there's, is there's that? There's nothing extra. You you're already not paying get, extra. You're just gonna get it. It's you just get it yeah. already guaranteed. You have the you, you have the version, which makes me think. I wonder if, and, and this is just me speculating. This is not part of the announcement or anything like that. But I wonder if I start playing on the Xbox or you know one uh, on the Xbox One. Not that I own one, but let's just say, for example, could I could my save transfer automatically to the Xbox I'm One I'm sure X? that like, it has to I be already. Why not. Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, think about it. If you're already X saving it out to the cloud, why not? Uh, true. It's yeah. just progress. It's the same game? Yeah. Or can I bring... Yeah, dude. It's the same game. The, yeah. You just said it. It's the same game. The yeah. difference is you're getting the the, the, the the version of the game that you're uh. upgrading to on the series uh, yeah. X is going to be that version of it. You know what I mean? Which clearly will be a much this you know, is, more up-to-date version. And, and let me tell you, as... What was I just saying? I think um, we were saying, as a matter of fact, on our episode with the rumor, the rumor mill, mm. where it was, you know, the 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 rumor is that the delay happened because they they were having trouble getting that game to run on PlayStation and on uh, the PlayStation uh, original uh-huh. uh, and on the Xbox One original. Mm. Um, so that that was the delay, and we still don't know if that's the truth or not. But we were all saying to ourselves, going. <laughs> The fact that that may be even possible is like I might wait to get Cyberpunk because it's like yeah. I'm not gonna I, you know saying like, why would you have the fear of uh, uh, experience? Well, and the fear version is is it, it depends on what it is right because mm-hmm. it, it if it runs well you know and it runs and exactly then that's different mm-hmm. but if it has issues if it chugs mm-hmm. if it has the the thing with control you know where that was chugging for a lot of a lot of people mm-hmm. control it's the like, game yeah the control of the game yeah. Uh, it's it, it it comes to the point. It's like, man, that that kind of bites, you know. But yeah. now you're like, well, hell, I'll buy the game because I could just play it and I would <laughs> automatically upgrade anyway. So that's very yeah, smart. That, that it's is, a very smart on, on their part. I I I I like the movement they're making. And even though I didn't mention this, I didn't have I, I didn't have this as as part of the the news uh, pieces. Uh, I do like some of the decisions they're making with their with the design of their next generation console. Uh, uh specifically one. Feature uh, that I thought it was big, the 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 fact that you can suspend uh, games, uh, but in this but in this case because we can suspend you know games now, as we yeah. play them now and to various degrees of success. Obviously the you know the live services games that they cut you, the internet, you, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to be taken off the network and and I will imagine the same thing will happen uh, in the Xbox One X and whatnot or the Xbox you know. <laughs> Uh, s- but uh, the fact that you can suspend games and like go to another one, start you know start it or suspend that too, go back to the original one uh, in a seamless fashion. Mm-hmm. That sounds pretty cool, that especially is. either if if you're the type of, like I try not to play too well. You try not to play too many games at once, but you know it happens every now and then. Uh, and it's cool it's to have that feature now for the record, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it is, it is very cool to 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 have that. Actually, it doesn't sound like much, but the, the technology is there. Mm-hmm. Why not? Why mm-hmm. not offer it? That is a cool feature, and I don't have I don't have doubt that Sony will have something similar. I bet you know, um, but it's little things like that and the decisions they're making. Now they all now all they got to show is games. True, you know, you know. true. And which which they've already. They have already set the expectation 
that their first party studios will not have anything for at least that first eighteen months. So mm. yeah, that kind that that, that kind of blows that huh? kind of blows a little bit, and that kind of knocks them back a little bit. But they are still giving you these little bits. Like it's okay, we're gonna win you over. Yeah, because we're they are eventually gonna release something. Yeah, uh, and unless they start fucking canceling shit, you know, yeah. you know, it's gonna have some game to go by. Uh, they're already gonna have Senua's, uh not sacrifice the next one, whatever the, the next. Yeah, that, you know, that, that's um, it. and they had you know, and I I I was kind of bummed when Ninja Theory became you know part of a, <laughs> a part of it because I'm like, man, I'm not gonna be able to play that whatever. But at the same time, I'm like. Well, I hey, mean, who knows? Who knows? What yeah, if, yeah. What if? What if? What if? Yeah, what if you jump? And I mean, what not necessarily jump. I, maybe, yeah. maybe you can. You maybe, know, so, hey. maybe, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah. And also, fucking kudos to to CD Projekt Red. Uh, just demonstrating to the you know to the world that they are the only company that is truly for the players. For the players, uh, you know, yeah. when you think about it, it's like. They have, like, they have no incentive necessarily to do this. Cyberpunk is already like highly coveted. People will gladly double dip, absolutely, you know, on on it. And yet, they're like, no, you know no, what? We're you shouldn't have this. to. Yeah, you shouldn't you know, have to double dip. I'm yeah. gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how dedicated to the gamers uh, they are. And this is, this is, this is almost ridiculous. This is this almost sounds. This piece of news almost sounds like, no, guys. Okay, you, you you guys have proven yourselves yeah. already. It's it's cool. You still need I'm to make money, fan. guys. Still I'm good, fam. <laughs> you guys still need to make money because I don't want you guys to have any problems. Uh, so you know about uh, good old games, good GOG old games, or yeah. God God God, mm-hmm. God games um, on PC. So the that's where I have the messenger news- for the record. What's that? That's where I have the messenger for the record. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on on good old games. So. Good old games reveals a very generous refund policy, uh, and then they ask the, cus- the customers not to exploit it. <laughs> uh, I G- mean, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, GOG, GOG uh, new refund policy may sound too good to be true, but it isn't. GOG uh, CD Projects Red's PC digital store has announced an update to its refund policy. Previously, the site offered a 30-day money-back guarantee on games that don't work on the on the customer's PC, which was already ridiculously generous to begin with. 30 like, days. A, 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 Steam will never <laughs> do that. No. And the Epic Store, with all its you know well in, you know uh, try, trying to gain the you know the the favor of, of PC gamers, it will never do that. Uh, so, 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 so they got already has that. So this week, the retailer announced a more generous, potentially exploitable <laughs> policy. Uh-huh. Uh, GOG or GOG will now refund any game bought within 30 days, regardless of the reason. Uh, that was, so they're becoming the, the what? Uh, the Costco? Was it? <laughs> what the was that? Costco. Sam's? Is it Sam's? The one they accept, uh, it was a company that I, one of those wholesalers. They, they used to be known. I, I don't think they do that anymore. But they used to be known for acccepting refunds for any store. You know, yeah. And that wow. was that was one one thing. Oh, okay. They will take ref. They will. Oh, returns. 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 Sorry. Returns. Yeah, returns. Yeah, yeah. returns. Returns. Yeah. Yeah. From any other store. For, like you bought it over there, but we'll accept it over we'll here. We'll accept. Yeah. At some just to get you in the store. The true. How long ago was that? Well, that was that. That's I'm willing to bet that's no longer the case. The, no, no, but I'm saying the, the the decade because there was a time. Oh, there was a time that um like people probably the early odds. Okay, then then I don't think it was probably. Like, yeah. What were you gonna say? Well, I was gonna say, and and I don't mean to derail your story, no. but basically there was a time where, as a um as so you know as a store as a franchise holder, you oh. can you can accept that because you would get the return on that. From the manufacturer, because all you have to do is get it back to the manufacturer, and it will become a return for you. Oh, uh, so which you is get money, correct? Which is why back in the day, pe- people used to pe- bring back in like a full console and just get a whole full refund on it. You know, like that's yeah. okay because we're going to get the money back from the from the thing from the from oh the, from, from the other. So of course that stopped. Yes. <laughs> you know, they they're like, uh, no, <laughs> you've purchased it. You 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 know you give Ben back whatever. You know yeah. now it's yours, and we don't we're not responsible for it. Yeah, unless it's defective. 
Uh, then that's <laughs> the only way. But yeah. Wow. So 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 yeah. That 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 used to be the the, the thing I heard. I, I want to say probably with Sam or Costco. They, you know, the people who bring like used tires. Yes, and yeah. They will yeah. get a, a, wow. a refund for it. It's ridiculous. It's very exploitable. It's exploitable. Yeah. Just like this uh, particular uh, little policy update now. Uh, so they announced uh, that, like I said, you know, any game bought within 30 days, regardless of reason, uh, downloading and playing the game during that window doesn't disqualify you either. So you basically could play a game for 30 days, beat it, or get your enjoyment out of it, and then decide to return it for just because, just because, mm-hmm. and they will give you a full uh, a full refund. Uh, as further detail. In an updated FAQ, uh, GOG, GOG, yeah, is also not putting any restrictions on the hours played, something other platforms like Steam dictate. Uh, as with the old policy, customers will still need to contact their uh, customer support directly. This is not a self service refund. Mm-hmm. Uh, the potential for abuse. In this policy is massive. Absolutely. As GOG sells DRM free games. Yep. Uh, that uh, which will allow bad faith actors to buy the game, save a local copy, and then refund it. Uh, GOG is aware of the risk and say they will be monitoring the effects of the current update to make sure no one is using this policy to hurt developers that put their time and heart into making great games. Uh, GOG also refuse, uh, may also refuse refunds on a case-by-case basis, such as instances when one person has requested a refund uh, on a bulk of games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the quote says, Please respect all the time and hard work put into making the games you played. And remember that refunds are not reviews, the FAQ says. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I got to say, man, they are... Uh-huh. They are, uh, they're just so. I don't know, man. They just, they just. I can't even. I can't even think of I, a thing to say. I, I they're just. They're just so out there when it comes to these. these at this things. point, they're it's like. At this point, they're almost going into the territory of almost gullible. At that point, I'm. I'm a little worried about this. They continue. They continue. They say, if you finish the game and didn't like it, please consider sharing your opinion instead. Please don't take advantage of our trust by asking f- for an unreasonable amount of games to be refunded. Don't be that person. No one likes that person. So, I mean, I can see what you're saying about it being gullible and maybe a little concerning, but at any point, they can just change it back. You know, it's not, it's not like you That's what I think is yeah, going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think... So any point, but I, I think something has to be said with the level of trust and faith that they're trying to put into the gaming community saying, you know what? Not everyone is like these assholes, uh-huh. right? Or the assholes that we have to be yeah. concerned about. Um, and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be the, uh, it sh- they, the ones who are doing this for good reason, saying it didn't work or I didn't like it or not that I didn't like it. You know what I mean? It's just not something for me. Um, like, like for instance, um, if you, if I'm trying to think of a game that I got and realized even though I bought it and I'm okay with the fact and, you know, I, I'm, I it's my money. It is what it is. I realized early on I didn't care for it. Like, it was five hours in of a 30-hour game and I'm like, the city. The, this, is <laughs> <laughs> this is not for me. Uh, this is not my kind of game. I made a mistake on this purchase. And to Rant say, of of the, let me tell you, <laughs> $25 I paid for that game because that shit just doesn't go down. And it was very well spent. You just don't recognize greatness. I guess not. <laughs> but I can eat, and I didn't, I, I didn't spend very long in it, you know what I mean? But I can easily say, hey, I'm realizing this is not for me, you know what I mean? And, and that's commendable, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little gullible, sure. Um, but they can always, you know what I'm saying? It's not like they're, it's not like they're saying, and we promise to never do, we we'll never go back on that. No, but I, I feel like I mean? they're, I, I, I feel like 30, 30, a, a whole month. I get it. That, that's, 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 that's too much trust. And it's already at the a whole internet month. have already demonstrated that. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm a gamer. The fucking gaming community sucks. You know, there's unfortunately, I, I, it, it feels either there are more bad actors than the good faith people that play, or 
those are the ones that 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 create the most the, the most ruckus and the more problems. I would uh, say it's that. a toxic community. Unfortunately, we we haven't matured. Uh, uh, you know, as it, I, 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 it doesn't feel like the like the medium has ha, has matured as far as the people that participate in it. We're still exclusive. We're still uh, you know. Um, Disrespect, you know, disrespectful of, of others. Uh, we still grieve for enjo you know, for enjoyment and for bad, you know, you know, bad faith. And we still uh, pirate games, you know, and and try to, you know, uh, play the system. And I get it. Most, you know, most of us are kind of fed up with the way that the the gaming industry has, you know, ha has treated us. It's almost like like there's no big winners here. Uh, It's almost like both both parts are are are, are uh, at, at fault uh, for the state of the game uh, of of the toxicity of the gaming mm -hmm. industry mm -hmm. as it is right now. Uh, I commend the fact that uh, CD Projekt Red, you know, has decided to ascend and take a stand and and and, uh, and lead the way and lead the way. Yeah, like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, yeah. Be the better, be be the high. What what does it call it? The higher man, the the better the bigger, man, the bigger man, the bigger man. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, uh, and 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 open up that policy, but at the same time, they just sprung this out. I don't think developers, as a matter of fact, and I was I, I was reading a, a, a piece that said developers were not aware of this. They're not gonna be happy with it. You can bet that they're not gonna be happy with this stance to the point where I wouldn't be surprised if they just start pulling out, you know, their selling games. their games mm -hmm. from from the store. Because at that point, that, they're just going to be dealing with too many, you know, returns and stuff like that. Unless Good Old Games decides to eat that cost. And it seems like they have the money for it. But again, I, mean, I don't, don't want you guys to be yeah, yeah. wasting mo Correct, money. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, uh, I don't want you guys to be the movie pass of, yeah. <laughs> of the gaming industry. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> well, yeah. Done. No, 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 no. Done. You th with that, you closed it perfectly. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yeah. You guys are being the movie pass uh, right now, and uh, <laughs> something bad happened to movie. Yeah. Spoiler alert: yeah. <laughs> something bad happened to movie pass. In case you're wondering In case. why no one talks about it anymore, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not there. Yes. <laughs> uh, movie pass. Rest in peace, movie that was, pass. That, that was perfect. That was just too good. Too good. <laughs> Uh, so my last piece real quick uh, is just a bit of interesting news. Uh, Bayonetta and Nier Automata developer Platinum Games Ooh. is growing. The developer announced on Thursday it has opened a new studio base in Tokyo. Platinum is headquartered in Osaka, for the record. Uh, that will develop live service games for consoles, a brand new endeavor for the a company known best for its single player action games. Uh, Platinum Games has experimented with live service or live ops games in the past, but primarily on mobile platforms. The studio worked on two titles, The Lost Order uh, and The World of Demons, uh, that uh, followed the live service model. Both appear to have been canceled. So, oh, <laughs> uh, so the reason I bring this up uh, for the record, guys, is speaking of companies... Going up on a path that maybe they shouldn't do. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, oh man, Platinum Games live service games oh, in man. general uh, require a lot of capital, mm -hmm. a lot of manpower because it's a live service, so you yeah. have to constantly be giving new content. Yeah. Uh, and not to say that Platinum Games is a small uh, company, but no, certainly not. They're not a big company either. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, they're self publishing they, now. Yes. From an influx of money that they got yeah. from uh, Tencent, or or I think it was Tencent. Tencent, I think uh, it was. Yeah. So, so that's that's probably what's going to happen. A Chinese company for the record, Chinese uh, conglomerate, conglomerate <laughs> yeah. mega, yeah, yeah, the biggest thing yeah. in the planet right now. Pretty much, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, the Virgin Mega, <laughs> whatever. Well, remember oh, the Virgin Mega Store? Mega, you remember the Virgin Mega Store? Virgin, Virgin Atlantic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so yes, so that um. I don't know. I think uh, this may be a move that comes to bite them in the ass a little bit later on, especially yeah. since their experience in live service games is it's not very good. Not you know, two games, they're both canceled. They were on the mobile anyway. Yeah. 
I don't you know, know sometimes. I, I, got, <laughs> I got excited when I when you know part of games because uh, obviously the makers of some of my favorite uh, 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 games. And I got excited to hear, oh, they're, they're self-publishing, so they're not under the umbrella of another company. And, and, you know, they have an influx of money, so they're not going anywhere, right? Because that, that was a concern. At one point, you know, it was it was concerning, you know, where, where they were. They're either going to go away or they're going to get absorbed by somebody. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I was very excited about that place's news. Now hearing what their plans are going for the future, I am decidedly less excited, like supremely so, because... Uh, and, and granted, you know, we sh- shall not be hypocrites. We are right now pretty much playing and enjoying a, a live service as live service game. True, but this is from but, Ubisoft, which is yeah, a which is humongous, much bigger uh, yeah. company. Uh, who can, f- who can take a who can take the time and, and do what they need to do? No, for the, true, you know true, what I mean? true. So it's like what I mean. What I mean is, and uh, the game's good. And <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, not when it came out, but anyway, uh, <laughs> but. The, the my concern is more on the okay. So what level are you gonna be playing? Are you gonna be more? Uh, what, what's a, what's another company that 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 does live services service? that like are PUBG? that is not evil? That is not evil. Uh, is PUBG evil? <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're be, yeah, that's I not, not evil. That's, that's not evil. I feel like it kind of eliminates the entire list, doesn't it? Yeah, true. True. <laughs> does Steve Ray Ray has a live service game? No. Mm-mm. Why? Because you can't have a live service game. I mean, be evil. considering the 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 ridiculous uh, uh, popularity of The Witcher, it might as well be a live game. <laughs> <laughs> it really isn't. So no. <laughs> it's just constantly they're just selling it for whatever reason. Yeah, it's, you can make a just, great game yeah. and not sell yourself to the live services mantra. Don't I mean, do we that. All, we all get it. I get that the live service. Obviously, the the purpose of live service is to have a revenue stream. Mm. Period. I think that's the clear reason why a lot of these companies go in and and i'm saying this as a person who has zero business degree i'm just saying when you have a successful live service game you have a game that's constantly going to make you money look at fortnite look at PUBG for its time look at any live Actually, service look game. at fortnite f- 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 I st- we still need to Whoa. be reminded <laughs> that PUBG makes more money than fortnite it's oh, just okay. that it's not yeah. it's not here necessarily but it, yeah yeah either way um the um so yeah that's what i'm saying so it's it's clear one it's a game and they're mm-hmm. not really doing anything else that i can know that that as far as pubg goes uh-huh. uh but the point is that that's i think the main reason for it and i get it if you can get one going and it's good yeah. and people you're going to have a nice stream that allows you to do other little things that you want to do yeah but if it doesn't work <laughs> yeah and you have millions upon millions of dollars wasted and, and gone. you have a money sink yeah you know, and you're at your hands, yep. and exactly. uh, you're not such a huge company that you could be willing to absorb that. So and uh, bounce back from it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh my God! So my last piece, uh, and it's kind of I kind of sorry to end it on 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 a sad note actually, but uh, uh, much respect uh, to this person, the Konami Code creator, Kas- uh, Kazuhisa Hashimoto dies at the age of 61. Rest in peace. And if uh, you recall, you know, the most gamers recall the famous Konami code. The Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Uh, BA star. I was thinking if it was right, left, right. <laughs> it's left, right. <laughs> it's left, right. Uh, Kas- uh, Kasuhi, oh my God, I'm hoping that I'm not mispronouncing, uh, heaven forbid. Uh, Kasuhisa. See. Kazuhisa uh, Kazuhisa, yeah. yeah. Kazuhisa a veteran video game developer and creator of the famous Konami Code uh, died this week at the age of 61. We are saddened to hear uh, about the passing of Kazuhisa Hashimoto, uh, a deeply talented producer who first introduced the world of uh, the world to the Konami Code, uh, Konami said in a statement. Our thoughts are with Hashimoto-san, uh, Hashimoto-san's family and friends at this time. Uh, the news of uh, Hashimoto's death was first shared on Twitter by composer uh, Yuhi uh, Technouchi. Take, Takenouchi. Technouchi was it's his 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 gamer tag. I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, his Hash- DJ name. See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hashimoto created the code up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. As an employee of Konami in the 1980s, when he was uh, created. When he was creating 
the Nintendo Entertainment System version of the arcade game Gradius. A lot of people think that Contra was the one that had that for the first time, but no, it was actually Grad uh, Gradius. Uh, it hadn't been playing that much, and obviously couldn't be. Uh, I couldn't beat it myself, so I put the Konami code. Hashimoto said in a 2003 interview, because I was the one who was going to be using it. I made sure that it was easy to remember. Uh, Konami will go on to use the code or a slight variation of it in many of its games. It also become it also became an iconic pop culture reference that has shown off practically everywhere. Uh, from uh, from recent games like Rocket League to the website for the Bank of Canada. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting places where, where, the, where the code actually works or it's an Easter egg of some sort. Rocket League being one of them. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro, uh, Pro Skater 2. Nice. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Yes, I remember that one, yeah. Yeah. Or uh, I remember, I never tried it, but I remember uh, hearing of it, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, of course, the Bank of Canada. Of That's course, <laughs> I wonder what what is it that happened. Uh, let me see. Uh, reveal. Oh, they revealed the new ten dollar banknote back when it was re- when it was released. Mm. Uh, da 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 da. see, Son of Enders Two, Assassin's Creed Three had it. Nice. Wow. And, and of course, I you will see it also uh, pop up. Ev- uh, you know, everywhere. In, and get I was gonna, I, I've seen a, a t-shirt that has it and I was just like, man, I need to get that. Now I really wish I had it because, you know, yeah, it's pretty cool. I bet, yeah, I bet that's, that's an iconic reference if, if any. And again, a lot of, a lot of people tie it to Contra because that's where it got, it most where it of got reviews. popular. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Start. Select star or star. Uh, rest in peace. Ashimoto-san. Yes, sir. All right, guys. We'll be right back with our hot Hot topic. topic. It is now time for our Hot Hot Topic topic of the Week. Uh, Hot Topic, guys, it is all about video game movies and do we need them? Uh, What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. nothing. Take it again. again. (laughs) 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 You're all. (laughs) It's It's not not y'all. It's It's (laughs) (laughs) It's (laughs) y'all. We've seen that movie a little too often. Such a good movie, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Um, unlike some of these that will probably <laughs> come out soon. Um, so obviously the post has a, the post that I made and I put onto the group has the Uncharted film, which is go- full steam ahead, apparently. Yes. Uh, they are, I think the the most recent news is that they have began filming. Uh, so obviously... For real? It, I mean, Do they? unless they're lying, I have no idea. I mean, what is Tom Holland doing? We got to call him. Uh, uh, hey, man. He's he's Spider Man again. <laughs> sure, <laughs> another Spider Man movie, maybe. Yeah, Spider Man. Oh, uh, played by Nathan Tom Drake. Tom Holland, though. <laughs> uh, whatever happened to Nathan Fillion playing Nathan Drake? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that guy could not be the more. It's literally <laughs> it, as if it's his story. As, it's his story. As if Unchar- the Uncharted guys went and said. We want to make our character a Nathan Fillion character. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's like it that's how be, they did it. They, it should be like this is the story of Nathan Fillion. We're gonna embellish it a little bit, a little obviously. Bit more, yeah. We're gonna make him a you know a a a, 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 a treasure hunter, treasure yeah, hunter yeah. you know swashbuckling guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Minus the swashbuckling, <laughs> <laughs> we'll put in guns because oh yeah, we'll make true. him a mass murderer. That's on top true. Of that. <laughs> um, so anyway, I wanted to go uh, through some of these uh, films, like I said, to see which ones have have a chance of actually becoming the best video game movie, uh, or if it's going to be a rehash of an old Uwe Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Uwe Bolt. Uwe yes, Bolt. Remember Uwe Bolt. I don't know. T- tell us a, tell us a story about Uwe Bolt. Uh, you know, who, who, who was this guy? Uh, well, first off, he is a vi- uh, video guy. <laughs> he <is laughs> He's a, a video game character. He sure is. <laughs> uh, Uwe Boll is a 
director and producer and writer uh, of several films. <laughs> uh, a lot of video game movies yes. that the games themselves are more popular than the movie that they that they ever had. Absolutely. Um, Blood Rain. Oh, you know God. that the, Blood, yeah, Rain. Blood Rain was one of them. Yes. Uh, let's see. We have In the Name of the King, a Dungeon Siege Tale. That's oh, the full name. <laughs> that's the name. That's the full name of that train wreck. With Jason Statham, guys. <laughs> 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 if you can imagine. Uh, Alone in the Dark. Uh, oh, wow. yes. yes. And then you have Postal. postal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just getting the Postal. Uh, you ha- I mean, they're just... To call them B movies insults no, B no. movies. This is this is this is proper D class, <laughs> like straight. The to Far video Cry ca- film he did. He actually did a Far Cry. Oh my film. god, I didn't even remember that. Yes, he did that as well. So he was basically. My understanding was what it was that he was not even financing these movies himself. Right, he was taking advantage of some sort of. Like tax loophole, Germany yes. tax loophole. The well, I don't that know somehow it, was, it allowed him to get maybe money to it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, he would record it in Vancouver because it's cheaper to record in Vancouver. Yeah, uh, which is in Canada for those who don't know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's it's um it's it's just a he knocked back video game movies. Uh, Almost a, a couple of years. Yeah, well, I would say a good twenty five years. <laughs> no, uh, no, but I mean like a couple of movies per year. That's what I'm saying. No, to say. what, what I'm saying is the progression of the films got knocked back. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, like, definitely. Oh yeah, god, so, yes. <laughs> so, so let's kind of go through uh, some of the ones of that course, we do know about. Here. This is this is inspired uh, in the recent hit. Uh, All time favorite. I know you're very excited about uh, going to watch this movie. You haven't seen it yet. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog, yes. because <laughs> apparently it's doing extremely well for a six and a half uh, film. <laughs> <laughs> I say that as somebody who has not seen it, for the record. So do just no, I, 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 I've seen it. I, I think you're very accurate on that. Yeah, <laughs> think so. Okay. Oh yeah, six out of ten. Oh, for sure. Six out of ten. For sure. Uh, the very next one that we have a solid date as far as release uh, on, guys, is Tomb Raider 2. Uh, did you see the most recent Tomb no, Raider? No, I've been meaning to watch it, though. I've been meaning to. I, I do want to watch the, uh, that one, even though I, I, I know to hypely temper my expectations. Uh, Please do. Because <laughs> I have seen it. And it squarely falls in the mediocre categories. Here. Really? It's. It's I heard it's a retelling of the like the game, like the actual game. I think it's a which re- one, the first game? No, 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 oh. no. Well, the first of the reboot. Of oh, the, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I heard it was the same. Faithful retelling of it. It's, it's just it borrows elements. It has certain shots that look like it. Is Trinity the the enemy or a com- or something? Trinity? Trinity, yeah, something like that. Oh, the I. Uh, I believe so. Sounds I don't familiar. recall. Yeah. It's, it was. Who knows? It was. Yeah, it was not memorable at all. It, it will bring back uh, the actress that played Lara Croft, Alicia Vikander, uh, to uh, you know to bring her role back. It is scheduled for March 19, twenty twenty one. Uh, I'd say this one has. This yeah. will probably make just about as much money as the last one, but most likely less. This, uh, this, this. Uh, I don't, I don't think the first one was received well enough to merit. I can't believe sequel. they're doing a second one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you see the one with Lara Cro- with Lara Croft? <laughs> Did I you saw- see the one with uh, uh, oh dear lord, what's her name? Uh, yeah, no, I was yeah, gonna no, make a joke about her. Uh, the about cradle of life, and the, it was the second one. Oh my god, my left percent. What is her name? <laughs> Fuck. Oh All god. right, we're passing this. People I- are yelling at yes, their, I know. their things right now. I am. My lef- just put Maleficent actors and it'll come. Maleficent. It is Maleficent. It is Angelina Jolie. Jolie. Dear God, Lord. Th- th- we are old. How do, yeah, how do we forget I Angelina know. Jolie's Next name, thing. people? Oh. I was going to just say, oh, well, she's not Angelina Jolie, but I think she was a better Tomb Raider. And yes, I saw I, the, I, I the first say, one. I saw, yeah, was was actually, and I still agree that the first one is still better Tomb Raider than even this one than, than this reboot. Yeah. This reboot was a little bit more uh, trying to be serious. Uh, and it had its it, you know his humorous moments as well, but it was mm. I, I just I don't know. It just didn't really have a life. You know, it just felt like a movie that didn't really have a life to it. So I don't know how they can take that mm. and go, hey, we should make a sequel of that. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, that 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 feels that feels odd. I mean, for a character that should you you would think uh, her character is iconic enough to where they can make a a pretty fun action movie out of it. Well, I think the know? problem there with the problem there is that you you're and the same thing I think with Uncharted film is that you it's a movie that you've seen. You know, they they mm-hmm. exist already. The Treasure Hunter film, you know what I mean? How many of these we've seen? We've seen them and uh, Indiana yeah. Jones has four parts to it. National you know Treasure. I mean? National see. Treasure is another <laughs> one, yeah. Uh, that's uh this guy uh what's his name? <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. I don't know. I can't No, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> we're do, we're so horrible Nicholas with names. Cage. Yeah, Nicholas Cage. Jesus. Yeah. We're terrible. You know what? The fuck is over. So anyway, moving on to the next one here. And this one is, this is going to be such a generic one for the real. Oh my uh, God. Activision has made it no secret of its <laughs> desire to squeeze every last penny out of its box for a title. And Call of Duty oh is God. no exception. Uh, yes, there are plans. Uh, names have been thrown around. Now nah, that one have been made and then t- chucked, probably. Oh, don't, don't uh, worry. This one will make gangbusters. If anything, honestly, I I I don't think so. Ah, I don't I think, think so because I mean, it has to be. You have to have the name. Do Modern Warfare and have the names that people recognize already. And you have to have good actors. You have to have good war. Eh, you just have to have to actors. The no, you gotta have people who look well in the position, <laughs> right? You can't have some, you know, some out of shape dude running around trying to be, you know, this uh, this soldier of fortune. You know what I mean? So, all right. I think I, I think yeah yeah. I, I, you know I, what? I think it's gonna be too generic. So you, unless, no, well, unless there's no doubt. The yeah, However, the, the marketing behind it is gonna make it sound like, oh my god, this. If I like Call of Duty, I like COD. I'm gonna watch. You're and, probably and, right. I think I think about it right now. You're probably. It's right. gonna be. It, it's gonna be set on the Modern Warfare era, and it's gonna be you know generic country, generic Kazakhstan country. <laughs> you know wow. something, some something, something stand. <laughs> it's gonna be attacking. You know, they're gonna be nuclear warheads. That they're gonna detonate. That they are, yes, because they do it in the game every time. Because, so. Yeah, exactly. Oh dear lord. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. That may act, that would be. I think I would be heartbroken <laughs> that the first successful, uh, both critically and commercially uh, successful video game movie is a fucking Call of Duty game that is already <laughs> critically and commercially successful. <laughs> like, we we already have Sonic the Hedgehog. Thank you very much. Sonic has saved us. Yes. Our savior, Sonic the Hedgehog. All right. Well, there is another uh, <laughs> a title that may actually run after the uh, the the Hedgehog's uh, title there. Got to go fast. March 4th, a 2022 release date is going to be the Minecraft movie. Oh God! Wow. Of course. No. What, what am I saying? Of course. Yeah. They did the Lego Bat, the the Lego and the Lego Batman I agree. movie. Of course, it's gonna be a Minecraft movie. Are you kidding me? I mean, if anything, that's late already. I know. I'm like, surprised it took this long. I, yeah. yeah. At this point, I think. Well, I think people still play Minecraft. But, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'm actually a little shocked that that didn't uh, come out as well. What it hasn't hell? already come out. I know. Yeah. I don't know. Telltale made a. Decent story, you know, game with the stu- with the Minecraft franchise. Where is that movie? Where is my Minecraft movie? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. A couple people are named. We don't really know these people. I'm not gonna go into the. But that's the, as far as the sc- screenplay writers, I guess yeah. I could say. Uh, and then of course March fifth, twenty of twenty one. No, March fifth of twenty twenty one. Excuse me. The Uncharted film actually has a release date. Oh, uh, and so here's what we know: Tom Holland is going to be Drake. For whatever reason, oh, Mark sure. Wahlberg is going to be Sully. God, really? That's. The I mean, there, there. If 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 Tom Holland, if Tom Holland is playing a young Nathan Drake, then it bears. It makes sense to have a younger Sully. However, Mark Wahlberg really. Mark Wahlberg. Like uh, Mark Wahlberg was at one time. In the in the running to become Nathan. To become Nathan, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And so now he's Sully. Now he's Sully. He doesn't look. <sighs> See, here's okay. Continue with your list because I want to talk about the fundamental problem with any video game movie. Any. 
Oh, can I mention it now? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, right. I'm here with bated breath. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had a list. Uh, no. I do, but yeah. <laughs> no, no. Well, let, let's just let's just come and I'll say it. The, 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 one of the main issues with uh, video game movies that uh, I feel is, is the reason why they don't resonate even with the even with the with with the actual uh fan base fan base that they're going that they're trying to go after is the fact that for some reason they always feel like even though they're getting you know they already know what they want right I want to make a Assassin's Creed movie but they always feel compelled to change the formula somehow in some way uh drastic enough to where it's almost becomes unrecognizable. You tell me the Uncharted uh, Uncharted series, I'm surprised they have Nathan and Sully together. But on top of that, the casting is like, well, these characters they don't really I don't know about uh Tom Holland. Maybe he can pull off a, a, a Nathan Drake, but freaking uh Mark Wahlberg he does. He can't. I, I. I don't. I just don't see him as a solid character. Neither do I. And 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 that's the same thing that you know. The same thing with the movie. You know, with you know the Doom movie, of course. Oh uh, dear Lord. The 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 same. You know, the same thing with. Um, I don't know. I was gonna say Rampage, but I feel like Rampage was such a generic. Just a, such a. The game There's is no story. Thin, yeah, I was gonna say it so, left a lot of open room. To yeah, fill yeah, yeah. Gaps, yeah. I, I, and and to be fair, uh, I didn't think that we did a bad job with it. No, did I? It, it was, was it was serviceable. It was, yeah. it was serviceable, exactly for what it was. But so many other uh, you know video game movies that are like, okay, this just has the title of the movie, but in no way uh, has the spirit. The spirit of it. Uh, yeah. you know, of, of of the game, and and I understand it's not. I'm not asking for a retelling of the, of the game, you know, of the game uh, story. Mm -hmm. But but at, at the same time, the game's story is what makes the game story so good, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like it's. But you I don't, don't need, want. I, I don't want to be beat for beat. But at the same time, it's like. Yeah, you know. but I, I I don't think I like. The, I don't think I want that because I, I like I wouldn't want uh, a. Um, Let's say a Mass Effect movie to follow exactly the step of what happened on the uh, on on you know on the Mass Effect games, you know. Uh, I it, it's Funny okay to it. <laughs> Funny you should mention Mass Effect. What? Mass Effect. It's uh, as an, as a, a, a scripts running around for Mass Effect. For Mass Effect. Oh yeah, that would be awesome if if it could be done proper, but. You know, it's, it's not, not going to be. That's it's the thing. Not, that's the problem. Because now the uh, they're going to change everything. Yeah, yeah. That, and see that that that's the problem. You, at, at some point, you kind of have to respect the source material, or or else don't even bother making it. You know, I think for example, and this was not like a great uh, a, a great movie, but I can respect that they actually kept very close to the source material, and that was the World of Warcraft movie. Oh, I haven't seen that. It's on my list to watch. I haven't seen it. Yeah, um, and that, I, it's only on my list because of how you, how you you had mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like it's 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 not a great movie. It's, it's not you like gave a, it a seven at the time. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I was it, I, I I would probably stand by it also. Uh, it was because it was entertaining still, and because and it's probably I can see you enjoying it less. Since you don't have the attachment to, to you know to that universe, uh, but me recognizing the source material and uh, you know everything every time they mention a name, a location, it'll show a location, it'll show a character, stuff like that. Uh, I felt like it was very uh, very close to the source material without rehashing it completely. You know, yeah. So they told an interesting story at you know at the end. It was it was not bad. But then you got games, I mean, uh, movies like like the aforementioned Doom, where it's like, well, now uh, I don't even remember actually what was that. I, I I think we weren't battling demons, right? It was like you were battling yeah. aliens, was it? What no, was it? it? Was demons. It was demons. Yeah, it was demons. Oh, okay, all right. I might be misremembering. The this is the one with the rock, right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah, it yeah. was demons, and then it had that whole weird first person view, yeah, uh, yes. which was. 
hilarious. <laughs> not hilarious. It was absolutely pathetic because it if you would have done that in game, uh, it would have felt like you were moving at like <laughs> s- like slow motion because and zooming about moving really really fast. quick. I was yeah. like, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, for the record, there is a movie that is in complete first person, which also has. A, a, like not a shooter, but basically a lot of action. Whatever is called oh. hardcore Henry, and I recommend that. For oh, you. oh, there you go. Uh, Pier, uh, uh, Silent Hill was another movie that they Silent did pretty Hill well. Actually, is probably I gotta say, man, I think it may be my favorite and probably the best. It right? means it's a, it's an easy. I think I can give it an eight. I can yeah. probably give. I'm talking about the first one for the record. Right. I can probably give that one an eight. It's really, it's really scary. Mm. Uh, maybe not scary, scary in the sense, but in the sense that it's very creepy. It's mm. very, it's very uh, atmospheric. Um, it b- borrows a lot from the game. It has uh, uh, particular yeah. angles and and the way that the, the game was uh, was designed. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if they can, if they can do stuff like that, it's just. Those are so few and far between. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm just going to ramble a couple of these off here because oh, yeah, I'm yeah. sure we know about them already. Uh, to be determined because we don't know a date, but the Last of Us film still wants to happen, guys. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, That's never happened. Yeah. It, I, it, that one, I think, is going to be stuck in development hell. Yeah. Uh, Watch Dogs, right? And I think that... Another I think, one. No. I think that can make a good film. I just don't know if it's going to be... They, uh, they yeah. could, but right now... The uh, r- r- right now the the actual um, the t- franchise is not it's not that hot. I mean, it it it, it makes money, but it's not that hot that correct. It will I'm marry. Curious to that. see how Legion will yeah. will do. I'm uh, surprised that we haven't seen the Fortnite movie. That's what I'm shocked. I mean, I can see that, but I can also see it being because it's got to go for younger audience. Yeah, being a little bit be different. Silly, yeah. yeah. Um. Just interesting fact about the uh, <laughs> about the Watchdog movie. Uh-huh. Uh, IMDb uh, has it listed as the untitled Mark Wahlberg slash hot hacker project. Uh, that's the title mm, name. So hey. that sounds kind of terrible. Exactly. <laughs> uh, movie coming out this year, believe it or not. Uh, already, uh, I've seen like bits and pieces of it. Uh-huh. The Monster Hunter movie. Oh God. <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah. so this is a uh, this is anime, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's as live action as live action gets, and for whatever <laughs> reason, it has from her Resident Evil popularity. <laughs> uh, I can't remember her name now, but <laughs> yeah, her Resident yeah. Evil popularity. That would be uh, Miss Capcom. This, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll call it that. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, those are the main ones that that uh, that are there. And like I said, there's there's more, and I just kind of want to throw them out so you can kind of see the level of plans that they have. As I mentioned, the Mass Effect, Dante's Inferno, because that game came out <laughs> yeah, ten years ago. Yeah. Um, let's see, Temple Run. Don't even know what that is. <laughs> <Lol>. That's <laughs> a that's a runner. That, that's a mobile runner of its time of like. You know, years ago. There you go, my friend. <laughs> That's there you go. Pre Angry Birds. So. <laughs> and we already had the Angry Birds movie. Angry Birds. So we already know how the type of movie that's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, The Rabbits, which I can see that being an animated film, of course. Uh, Day no, Ascent. it's actually a, an action drama with Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well be. He's the king of of, of, of uh, video game movies, apparently. Uh, Deus Ex: Human Revolution, which eh, I can see that being an interesting tale. That could be an interesting tale, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Splinter Cell. Fuck, I mean, that's not happening. That not even the game is happening. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Splinter, oh my god, Lol, hilarious. Yes. Uh, Ubisoft has been shopping around. Uh, the rights to Far Cry <laughs> to, to bring that back because that went so well the first time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know with that disaster from Uwe Bowl. Yes, the Uwe Bowl I, uh, masterpiece. Yeah, uh, disaster masterpiece. One may call it. <laughs> uh, Kane and Lynch is still oh my out God. there because <laughs> Talking it about is. another series. Yeah, see, though, this these are the ones that. If they haven't happened already, yeah, but they're still shopping the morale. Yeah. It's and here's the here's the weird thing, it's 
just that crazy. That there is a chance. Yeah, you know yep, what I mean? It's I just know. that crazy. I it's know. like, well, that's true. Maybe we can do. This. Listen, yeah, we not too long in an, in the not too distant future or past, I should say, we got the Battleship movie. So that exactly. should tell you, decades after Battleship was actually a thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so you have Devil May Cry, uh, Mortal Kombat movie. I guess there'll be another one. Mortal, uh, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. So it's so, okay, I, I, and, and that should be that's the example of a video game movie uh, that that really kept it close enough to the to the, the first source material. One. The yes. first one, yeah, that it was enjoy and it was enjoyable. You know, it was silly, and it's it not the best silly. movie. It was poor acted, uh, it, um, but it, it, it was. Almost that Starship Trooper kind of silliness to where I like Starship sir. Trooper. Starship Trooper no, is a great sir. film. This sir. Is, no. I mean, it's not it's Trust not me. a ten. Trust but me. it is easily an eight. No. Bro. Oh, I mean, that. no, don't get me wrong. I, I, I think you're underselling it. Starship Trooper is a masterpiece. I love that movie. That movie's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Because of his cheesiness and silliness. Oh, it's cheesy as all it's get out. Cheesy, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all get out. Yeah. And also, the but acting it's on purpose. Is kind it's on purpose. Yes, exactly. It's on purpose. That's, That's what I'm saying. There's difference between bad acting uh, and purposeful bad acting. Well, right? I, I think I think that uh, uh, Mortal Kombat was purposely bad acting. I don't think no, that movie was ever was taking itself seriously. plain old bad acting. No, sorry. it was, <laughs> was plain it old was bad acting. In you a had good way. one good actor, and it was the one who played Raiden, <laughs> and he's not even that good. <laughs> Everybody else were unknowns prior to that moment. Listen, they were... Oh, and by the way, they have remained unknown because <laughs> they've no, <laughs> not seen them since. That, oh, sorry, Shansung. Shansung, Shansung yeah, he's another, been, he's uh, a, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah, about yeah. that. But he, but they, but the, they, they, they casted them properly. Sonya looks like Sonya. Uh, Jax looks like Jax. Um, True. Uh, uh, Sub Zero <laughs> looks like a, uh, like Sub Zero. He looks like a blue ninja. <laughs> looks sure, like a blue ninja, <laughs> which is exactly what we need. Dude, Raiden looks of like course, Raiden. Yeah. Of course, dude. I'm telling you, uh, this movie actually kept it. I would challenge you, uh-huh. challenge you uh-huh. to rewatch Mortal Kombat. I will gladly take I that will challenge. Challenge you, and I dare you to come out of there saying <laughs> the exact same shit you're saying right now. <laughs> I think, yeah. <laughs> I think, I, yeah. You know what? It's going to have to happen this week, so remind me. <laughs> so, my issue uh, with a lot of these uh, films that they have plans to make is you you don't have the time in a movie mm. to deliver the same type of thing that's in the game. It's always going to fall short. Right. Um, because if you have, like, the God of War, for the record, the most recent God of War is... Yeah. is in the plans to become a film. Now, here's my deal with the what, with using the most recent God of War as an example. Like, God of War has all this history, mm. so you're gonna like leapfrog all that history and say, "Oh, we're gonna do him when he's old." Why? Viewers don't you know who don't know the product are not gonna know who he was or any of his information. You're not gonna have enough time mm. within two hours to give him all his history and then give us that game. That uh, oh, I don't know. I I feel like I feel like. If, if they're making the movie based on, uh, you know, God of War, the God of War, which is Kratos, uh, uh, for for all intended purposes, I, I don't. You already Kratos has transformed, right? Mm-hmm. Kratos is no longer the ooh, I'm angry, and I'm just gonna have sex with this, you know, goddesses or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he's not like you know, Ares. He's not. He, Ares. He's not that character anymore. So if I were like if 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 I were to be excited about a God of War movie, it'll be one based on this version of, of Kratos rather than the old version. Because I feel like after watching this Kratos one, he has become who has been transformed. Going back, it just feels like devolving. I I would agree if you're in the video game, but if you're gonna tell if you're gonna tell it in a new medium. Mm. You got to tell it from its inception. You got to start from its inception. Yeah. You know, you got to have that history because otherwise it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So uh, I think that's the main issue. And I think that the solution to a lot of these uh, is probably the solution that's happening right now with The Witcher uh, show. Yes. And that is that because it's a show, you have 
10 episodes to deliver this entire story. It doesn't have to be the whole story, but if you get a good chunk of it, you have time to develop your characters. You have time to develop uh, relationships, storylines, uh, factions, you know, everything that can possibly go on. You have all the time to actually get that going and then have people, you know, it, it, it hooked onto it. Yeah. But when you don't have that time, it's like, it's it's literally, it's, it little, picture for a second, just, I don't know, the Uncharted game or or God of War and, and take two hours out of that game and go, we can make a movie of this right here. It's it does not going to make any sense. You know what I mean? No, so, no, no. So and and tell and trying to tell. Well, the, probably the reason why they decided to go with young, you know, the 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 young adventures of Nathan Drake. Of Drake. <laughs> yeah, because trying to tell the story of uh, one of the of one of the games, and, and I wouldn't really want want to see that. Uh, will be it will could be disastrous because they still have two hours, you know, to 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 sell yep. to sell it. You know. Uh, and probably the reason, well, one of the the reasons why The Witcher that you mentioned uh, is also we could appreciate is, is uh, as gamers is the fact that uh, they're sticking true to the uh, to the source material. Yeah, and it's because the actor that plays uh, him knows very well <laughs> the source material already. He has obviously played you know the game uh, to the point where. He uses mannerisms, the way he talks, the way he moves, stuff like that, uh, almost lifted from the game. Yeah. And that's awesome because at that point, you know, we want that. Mm -hmm. We're we're still seeing a new story, but we're still relating to, oh, this is the Geralt from, yeah. you know, this, this, this Geralt is, this fits is a, this properly. This familiar Geralt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. That's another thing. It's like you make these characters and they go to, say, straight too far away mm -hmm. from their origin. Uh, I remember Gore Verbinski, um, which is a he's a, I want to say he's a producer. Uh, he was actually tapped to do the Bioshock film. Oh, uh, and 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 here's another uh, aspect of it is that a lot of these uh, the source material of when the video game itself are rated much higher than f the films want to do. Right, mm. like the movie companies want to do because they're like. If we're going to do this, we got to do this at, le at maximum PG-13, right? Because mm -hmm. we need the biggest audience as possible. Uh, and sure, you have your your examples like Deadpool and all this that are the great whatever. But mm -hmm. realistically, you know, those are um, few, you know, few and far between. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't always work out that way. So Gore Verbinski looked at the source material for Bioshock and it's like, this is going to cost $200 million to make. <laughs> and if you don't make it rated R, you're going to frustrate half the people yeah and if you you know what i'm saying but you have to make it for g13 just so you can make a profit yeah uh coming back because you're spending that much money because you got to create this underwater this is almost on you know on un, unrepresentative un of what it could be yeah. It, it, it's all yeah 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 i guess the because because of what the game is and the, because of the uh, you know what what the you know the assets and the source material and the story and everything is to make it a PG thirteen movie will almost feel like that, like watered down. Uh, yeah, way too Pun much. Pun intended. Watered down. Watered version, down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, one of one don't have to look uh, that far. Actually, probably do have to look far because it, this movie came out a long time ago. But this is a perfect example of a movie that they just did not follow the formula at all. They stray away with some crazy ideas to where. It became unrecognizable, and that was the original uh, Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, Super Mario Brothers movie was a, a train wreck of a disaster, and of course, I think the ma knowing the making of it is way more interesting than the movie. Yeah, 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 exactly. The making of it is a lot more interesting, and it, it you know, not only be, you know because you know they had you know incompetent directors and uh, and useless writers and. And, and and some of the ideas were two bananas, you know. In your main in your main uh your main characters were drunk on the set half the time because they're <laughs> like, if the director's not gonna take this shit seriously, I ain't taking this shit seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, the, you have to you have to like that. You end up with a movie that becomes unrecognizable from the actual uh from the actual game. 
Absolutely horrible. You know, it's it, a really bad movie. It looks like a mo- like a mushroom trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Almost exactly. Like you need to be on shrooms in order to appreciate <laughs> yes. the film. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Now, uh gone, you know, twenty or thirty years later, we have, you know, the the Sonic movie. And I thought it was I thought it wasn't great. I thought it was kind of boring a little bit. However, I'll tell you one thing. That Sonic is the game Sonic. Yeah, that Sonic it is stuck to the, it. Yeah, it's it, it it is they brought into life, and they allude to a sequel on on it. Now it's almost undoubtedly oh, going to happen. Happening, yeah. You know, yeah. after after the success, you know, of it, uh, I'll be I, I'll, I'll be excited. Probably I'll be excited. Probably not to see in the theater this time, but I'll be excited to watch what they end up doing with the second one, just because. Hey, this is a character that we rec- uh, you know that we recognize that it's a, a video game icon uh, that they did very well, even though actually it's hilarious because they did it very poorly at first, incredibly poorly, and in a matter of what uh, three months, something like a that. Few months, yeah, yeah. They must have been in super mega crunch for that because they. They fix it. Yeah. They fucking fix it. His look, yeah. It's I have, I have a, a question because I, I heard a particular review from someone uh, regarding the movie, and uh, just from work, not, not like a review or review. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they felt that they, the movie is very short. It's only like 90 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, and they felt that some stuff got cut out and cut out most likely because of time that they needed to, uh, you know, obviously... They had to redo the character, so redoing mm-hmm. the character and getting him in all, to all the scenes, they, they kind of just... that's That was his opinion on it, and since I haven't seen the movie, I don't know, and I was curious to think uh, to hear your thoughts if, if if you felt at any point that, you know, a particular story beat got, you know, not satisfied and, and it felt, you know, like a loose, loose no, end. No, because... To say that will be to imply that the movie had an, the story? A, a sort of <laughs> death. No, seriously, okay. a sort of death in the story, and it really lacked that. It, mm. it was really a, a very straightforward. You know, we need to get the. You remember the movie The Wizard? You know, you're taking the kid. Uh, t- you know, they're taking the kid to the. Oh, I gotta see that movie again. Yeah, Wizard. Yeah. Remember, yeah, yeah, to the. To the well, Nintendo champion, championship, championship, whatever, yeah. and it was about the trip, basically. This is almost sort of like that. And even though, yes, the movie's very short, and I could definitely see where cuts would have been made because, you know, we have to CGI fix all this Sonic, you know, animation, and there's going to be places where it's just it's just, it's just unfeasible to mm-hmm. it or it doesn't look good or or for well, whatever reason they'll have to redo this yeah yeah, so, yeah but so. it never but it at least I, I didn't get like i didn't notice the cut if there was any but it was again it was probably because of how like watered down mellow you know uh simplistic of a story it ended up being mm-hmm. you know so but yeah the movie was kind of over you know pretty fast yeah. I attribute it to Sonic. He's fast. Yeah. So, of course, his movie is pretty much... That's how, yeah, that's, that's how it has to be. Yeah, yeah we got to go fast. Now, I did like that. There was a lot of... Uh, y- y- you know, they got to go fast uh, meme, mm-hmm. you know, come from that, you know, that drawing of a child. You know, a child made a drawing of Sonic and it looks kind of silly. And, of course, the internet being cruel and horrible, they just took it to to meme status. Uh, with a thing of gotta go fast because that's what I said. Um, so actually, they 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 had that. You know, Did they? they, they oh, yeah, okay. they, they showed that, movie. and they used to, you know, cleverly. You know, I I thought I thought I, I thought it was a nice homage to it. Okay. Uh, and they seem to have done that with a lot of portions. Again, recognizing that they had already super mega pissed off the Sonic fan base. With the horrible job that they were making on 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 that, which the I, first one, I, yeah. I need to see that trailer again because that looked horrible. Even the choices of colors and stuff like that, and they majorly fix at least that portion. Okay. Yeah. All right, sir. Any final thoughts on video game movies and uh, their fate in the uh, movie industry? I'm not. I'm not opposed to them happening. Uh, I think that at some you know at some point they could be quite enjoyable. 
Uh, and and there are games that I've played that I'm like, man, I wish someone would take the, the time to consider making this into a movie because I feel like the story that was shared here, not a lot of people are gamers, but everyone should have a chance to experience this you know, story. Yeah. Uh, this story. Even, yeah. though, even if it's not through this medium, at least in, in movie format, You know, everybody can watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Everybody could relate to that. So yeah, uh, I can see that. So yeah, uh, that's uh, that. That I I I don't. The, the the problem that I have is that unfortunately, the I, I don't feel like actors uh, or even their agents take video game movies like too seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, because I think so. They're too. almost never. Co you know, compelled to write, you know, written well enough to compel them to do so. Yeah. You know? I think uh, the problem with a, again, the problem with it being that it has to be a much shorter thing that y it has to almost, it, uh, it almost dictates that it needs to stray away from the story mm. uh, because it can't, it, it's just, you're not, it's never going to satisfy anybody. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, and I think you're right. I think it's. I think it's still kind of at that point where the comic movie, uh, comic book movies used to be back in the early days. True. Where they were half-assed, they weren't really taken seriously. Uh, now they are a multi-billion-dollar product oh, yeah, that everybody the, wants in. Yeah, of course. So I think it's. It can get to that point. Um, you think it can get to that point? I think it can, but it just needs to be done wisely. Uh, and again, wisely in the sense that okay, if you're going to do a Doom film. Then it can it doesn't it doesn't need to be the Doom Marine it, it doesn't need to be the the or it probably has to be the Doom Marine but you have to give it a you can't give it the entire story that you know of mm. you got to give it a segment of it it has to make sense and it has to make sense for the runtime that you're that you're going for mm. um, and and the same thing with a, like an Uncharted film it's like okay so this is going to be a quick adventure this is not going to mm. be his major adventure because we all know of his major adventure and those things. You know they're constantly flying across the world and all this stuff. You know, yeah. Um, so it needs to be a a smaller, more contained that makes sense, that has a purpose for wh why they're doing it, uh, and 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 that's it. And it, it can't. It, it should be different from what we know. It shouldn't be the tale of El Dorado because mm -hmm. we've seen the tale of El Dorado and we know what's going to. And if you give us a two hour movie of it and you cut something out. We're, we're gonna, gonna be like, like oh no, no, no you yeah. fucked up here, you know. So give us another tale, give us another thing, and this the fact that they're going young with him, maybe that does work. Maybe because we're this will be his earlier adventures before he's the mm -hmm. globe trotting uh, 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 treasure hunter, you know. Yeah. So and and a movie like Bioshock, yeah, that sounds amazing on paper, but it probably wouldn't be good. And I, yeah. I, I don't think it should. I don't think it should happen. First of all, when you hear, but the, the when you think about the premise well enough, you know, big daddies, little sisters, you know, you know, the the whole thing with the plasmids and stuff like that, it doesn't translate very well into no, the I mean, silver all, screen. Yeah. yeah, I agree. It it'll be it, it makes sense in the gameplay, um, and you know things, but. Not well enough. And if you, if you try to change it too much, then that's, I th think, that's no longer... I think Bioshock would do well as an animated series. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you can do way more with animation. You don't have to worry about the budget of yeah. creating fake water and all this stuff. Uh, you can maybe even do it a CG animation series where it actually looks a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, and then you will have enough room to give the history... Of how Rapture came to be, mm. um, you know, what I'm saying whether it being you show it happen and then it gets to the bad, or you're at like the game, you start at the bad and you and as you go along, you f it fills you in as to what occurred, you know. Mm. Um, but you'll have that time to, to to get all that out there because you're gonna for Bioshock, you're gonna need you need the lore, and yeah. when you start the game, you are lost. You don't even know what the hell's going on. You're figuring yeah. out as you go. And you need all that time. To, you can't just have somebody sit there for 10 minutes of a two-hour movie going, so here's what happened. This place used to belong wherever. <laughs> Andrew Ryan went crazy. You, you know, that's this, just this an info could, dump, and th nobody wants that this, shit. But this one, but the thinking about it, uh, I mean, this one, I can see it being a retelling of Bioshock because you have the elements to surprise an audience that, is, that hasn't played the game. Yeah, I agree. You know? And the ones that have played the game, 
it'll be cool to see their interpretation the of interpretation, that emotion. Because yeah. you know? now, remember, you're always getting what happened via the recordings. But right. now, as a show, as a series, uh-huh. uh, animated, animated is, I think, the best way to go just to keep the budget down. Yeah. Um, but as a series, you can get the visual telling of that yeah. story as opposed to the yeah. audio recording that you... It that would not be mean. different than uh, Game of Thrones where the people that have read the books already knew what was happening. For the most part, it was very close. Mm-hmm. and But it still didn't take away from the people that hadn't read the books of getting excited about, oh, shit, I can't believe this happened and yeah. then, you know, what's next? And yeah, yeah it could be, it, it could it could be, be something done. like that. Yeah, it Not every game... Like, we don't, need a, we don't need a movie about this trending, all right? Before anybody comes up with the idea... No, no, no. no drop it. <laughs> what makes that game good has yeah. nothing to do with the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. it has more to do with the. And s- we didn't need yeah. a Need for Speed, but it, yet it happened. <laughs> oh my God, that did happen. <laughs> yeah, that it? did yeah. happen with Jesse from uh from, from, from uh, Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. Yeah, those things wow. are not like again. Not every franchise requires you know a I movie. Agree. It has to have. You say that, but you're gonna see a Rocket League movie. It's gonna happen. Oh, I, I, I was thinking of that before I yeah. seen Need for Speed. I was thinking of Rocket League, you know, a Rocket League movie. Get out of my uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that, uh, but yeah, it, you got to think of the uh, of, of the source itself. Yeah, if definitely. it lends itself properly to a film, to a film, yeah, yeah. which a lot of them don't. No, uh, but otherwise series? you become you yeah. evolve again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to an awesome episode 202, the real 202. Uh, As always, guys, please go to goodgame.rocks. Join the conversation there. And, of course, please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. This is Mad Dog signing off for this week. Mr. Santos, take us home. Hey, hey, Mad Dog. Yes, sir. Um, You want to play some Division (laughs) 2? I kind of (laughs) do. But I can't do it tonight. So. Ah. <laughs> However, I do believe that Mr. Chaos is off tomorrow night. Oh! And uh, it's a Saturday night. And if I can get a lot of stuff I need to get out of the way early. All right. So hold on. Uh, let me clear my schedule. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, date with wife. I'm going to have to cancel that. <laughs> Actually, I have Done. I have a date with my wife. But ah. we, we, we can we can c- come back uh, a little. Because we also, I got to go. Well, anyway, that has nothing to do with the podcast. But anyway, the point <laughs> is, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, right. I think uh, we have some time. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah. What the hell? I can, <laughs> I can use a couple wings.